Oh, it's been said a bard's life can often be a hard life. Or hill and dale to rove and always move from town to town. And some folk have inquired if ever we grow tired of ranging all around the world and never settling down. But one should be a little wary of remaining stationary. This comfortable is lovely, but it's not the way we grow. When life starts to unravel, pick up your pack and travel. You'll find a strange serenity in places you don't know. Wriggle dee dum dee too, that's a real D. There's so much to see beyond the open door. It's outward bound we go. Who knows what we'll find that we've never found before. Adventures waiting further down the road. It's waiting for you further down the road. You've got no map for showing which direction you are going. But why start on a journey if you know where it will end? And once you recognize, to anticipate surprise, you'll relish every twist and turn that lies around the bend. Wriggly dum da doo da terry o dee da dee da dee. There's so much to see beyond the open door. It's outward bound we go. Who knows what we'll find that we've never found before? Adventures waiting further down the road. It's waiting for you further down the road. Die da die da die da die da die da die da. The world has got its demons. There are many reasons why you'd find it harder to be brave than be afraid. But every life could use some danger. Every friend was once a stranger. Ships are safe in harbor, but that's not why ships are made. Wriggly dum de doo da terry o dee da dee. A fwit de dee de dee. There's so much to see beyond the open door. It's outward bound we go. Who knows what we'll find that we've never found before? Adventures waiting further down the road. It's waiting for you further down the road. Adventures waiting further down the road. Let's go. In ancient times, the days called the Great Before, nerds and geeks came together for a common purpose, to live in a fantasy world and to fight once more against the murky darkness and evil's forces. In those gloried halcyon days of yore, when there were but three terrestrial channels, four if you had PBS, Thacko helped determine the score and only your DM could access the monster manual. But the times, they have changed. I mean, for one, we play D&D on Twitch and not in Palo's mum's basement. And our dice don't just go to 20, but rather 21. And the nerds have taken awe without shame or debasement. You are welcome here. In between films about Avengers. Let's start the 11th campaign of Nat 21 Adventures. 
Without any further gilding of the lily and no more ado, I bring to you the guardian of nerdy virtue, the DM who has a growl under his cowl, Palo Garbanzo! No, I'm in, I'm in. No, you're not. Turn your camera on. Ah, so close, so close to a perfect opening. Well, you know, I had so multiple cameras and then I turned on the wrong one. It's been a <laughs> while since we've done a show. So uh, yeah, I went, click, got this. <laughs> <laughs> now for the scripted material. <laughs> uh, well, hello, greetings all adventurers and greetings Shakespeare. Glad to have hello. you here. Uh, Glad yeah. to be back, Paolo. Yes, it's it's we 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 have shared some adventures, uh, like in person, real ones. We went to Scotland, uh, and audience, come here, come here, come here, audience. Palo and I got COVID yes. at the same time. We both failed our failed our saves. We it was, did. It was hilarious, but no one else on the tour got it. Just just us. So, just my friends. <laughs> We ran games. We played at Muncaster Castle. We saw Edinburgh Castle. Uh, we saw Levens Hall. Uh, we saw so many other cool places. Uh, and each place became part of our scenario uh, as we played D&D each night. We uh, went through the, at midnight, I took my, my squad of players, my heroes, and took them into the graveyard of the chapel at Muncaster Castle or at midnight. And who did we encounter? A black cat. I mean, what are the odds? Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. what are the odds? Uh, so we I'm, are uh, arranging I'm, I'm next so year's... I'm so amazed by that. I know, it's <laughs> hilarious. I have pictures. <laughs> so we are arranging next year's tour, everyone. So it's going to be next July. Uh, we're still in the middle of arranging it. And we, as soon as we get some the all the details nailed down, we're going to let you know. But tonight we play. Ooh. Here we are, episode one of the new adventure that awaits us all. This episode, it's episode one of Into the Feywild. It's technically gonna be session zero and then session one all rolled into one. So let's see if they ever make it out of the tavern. Not likely. But you, my friends, can possibly make this adventure move by the power of channel points. You can make the magic happen. Join our Patreon and you gain even more powers. Who doesn't want more power? For only a few and saintly points you can give our players bonuses to help or hinder them mm. re-rolls nat 21s nat <laughs> critical critical failures whatever you feel like while you can mangle most of my plans the major rule here is that natural ones when rolled or 21s when rolled cannot be changed they are sacred unto the gods and to the wumpus cat right over there there are other effects as well that you can use just look up on the list and things may be added during the game Mm -hmm. But come along with us on our next adventure right now. And without further ado, roll the Nat 21 footage.
All right, my friends, we are going to introduce all of our players uh, one at a time. Here we go. My friends, introducing to my whichever side that this camera lets me do it on, Mab Just Mab. Hey, how you doing? I'm Mab Just Mab, a uh, retired sideshow girl and a longtime performer here at Nat 21 Adventures. I'm just psyched to be on the show. I can't even tell you. It's going to be wonderful. That's all. That's real. Oh, uh, have you guys heard about Gobblonia? We'll talk about that later. But how you doing there, Apollo? I'm doing great. And what character are you playing tonight? Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Kira Tentos. I'm from uh, Tater Holler. Uh, I am uh, extremely skilled at wrestling uh, and uh, farming. And I am like super one with nature. And But I'm going to be like a monk because I got the moves. These are like super dance moves. I will, I will take you down with like, you know, I call this the tater slap. It's like, you know, tater slap. I'm working on the mashed potato. It's going to be a sweet move when I get it all running. Yeah, I'm just really excited to be on the show. Yeah, these are great team. Good people. That's right. She's ready to drop the people's potato on the other people. And we have Alex Stompley. Yay. Coming back to play with us once again. Uh, hey, everyone. I'm, I'm, I'm so thrilled to be back. It's been a hot second. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm back, and uh, so is uh, everyone's f f favorite, like four foot goblin with a st st stutter. Pax, ah, uh, I'm not from Tater Holler, I'm from a garbage can around the corner, and, and uh, I would work on a dance move if I was ever invi invited somewhere. So, you know, it's good to have goals. That's Pax the Goblin, everyone, and uh, returning to our game as well, Soft August Ingenue is right here and she's Autumn. ready to play with Autumn. us. Autumn, Autumn. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, you know, it's all right, it's all right, because I don't need to know me is that, you know? What matters is in what I used to do, you know? Being your guest GM, being, you know, wherever I was. I am looking forward. And in the future, right in front of me is Gift the Great. That's right, right in front of you, Gift the Great Greatest. Bard, probably ever. Probably. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty oh. sure. Best bard of all time. I am here. Not for you, although you're welcome. I'm here because I am on a journey. I'm on a quest with who I believe is to be the greatest adventurer of all time. And I am here to document in song and rhyme every single one of that person's conquests. And I'm not going to tell you who it is because that's not my job. So, go ahead. Well, and... He is coming soon, as soon as uh, as soon as we have his camera up and running, which apparently is. I can keep talking about him if you want. I oh, can go on with day. Everyone in there, coming soon to a twist queen near you. Oh, that's all right. If we got a stall, listen. I I like to bloviate and pontificate sometimes at the same oh. time, both coming out this hole in my face. So listen, not only not only is this the tallest of all the half elves you've ever seen in your life. No, 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 no. Not the blondest of all the golden heads. But I, I, I can't even begin to describe to you the bravery. Yeah. The the compassion. Oh, he kisses babies. He does. Not in a weird way. You know. That's what I heard. I yeah, heard he yeah. kissed babies. And, uh, 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 I was oh, the size the of a baby. The <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So the you're saying I don't know like I need a change, you know. There's you know? A chance. I, I will. I will tell you, I've seen some of his moves and they are real good. I, I was like yeah. practicing in the shadows. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Right yeah. behind him. Yeah, you know oh. what? I actually am. Um, I'm going to do this now. I'm going to do this now because we've got the time. You know, well, yeah, I feel yeah, like I need to tell you a bit about him. You know, I, I, you may actually, watching this, some of you might actually know this particular ballad. I wrote this ballad the day I met that boy. I did. Um, I did. And oh. I wrote it because it is all about him. And he is the originator. Listen to this. The originator of the word himbo. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was the first, yeah. the first oh. himbo there ever was. You know? You know? So I wrote a song for him. You want to hear it? Oh, you sure. know what I do. You yeah, know what I do. Go, go all right, ready? It. I love it. I need a himbo. I'm holding up for a himbo till the day is through. He's got to be strong and he's got to be sweet with a low with an average IQ. Ah. I need a himbo 
I'm holding up for a him, but who will risk it for ya? He's gotta be tall and he's gotta be tough and he's coming out to destroy ya, to destroy ya. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it goes on, but I don't go, you know, I don't want to yeah. hear the whole thing. It's That's... like the uh, seven part opera, you know. So, no, so, I love so it. good. Yeah. Yeah. I I think, really... And with that, we bring you yes! <laughs> the himbo himself. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! There he is. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh no, yeah. He's, he's he's handsome, but, but we he's can't hear mute. him. No, no, that's one... not good. That's good. That's fine. Come on, barman. Come no, on, come we, on. You make you're it look on, bad. You're muted. <laughs> come on, barman. <laughs> the plight on, of an barman. attractive person. No I mean, one ever he, hears he what they have great, to say. Though. He does himbo. look great. All right, himbo. Give him a minute. He sounded out the words. Hang on. First word. Himbo. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wait, what happened? My, uh, I love that his first oh, and only have... word was himbo. We arrived oh, no. land of the, the himbos and the fey and the taverns. <laughs> He's hit the ground running, everyone. Can anyone can anyone hear me? I still, yeah, no yeah, one's yeah, told yeah, me yeah. whether they can hear me. Yeah, I'm yeah, you're back now. But I'm you're ready there. to go. I am Varman. I'm also Jack Lepiar as Jack the Whipper. You might know me that way. But today we are Varman, AKA Varus, the destroyer. Which is backwards, and I'm very upset about that. So I'm going to go go ahead and. I oh, know we can see camera. you. Forward. No, no, it's it's right. No, it's okay. It's yeah. okay. We'll just, it, you know, it it's going to be different. In the, We're going to change interwebs, it around. The little the little ones and zeros. They all then they flip right before they hit. My magic. It's great. My magic. Well, I'm so glad we're all here. It's Kira <laughs> Ten Toes, the halfling monk. Pax, the goblin warlock. Ah. Gif, is, wait, is it Gif or is it Jif? Oh no. Uh, oh. Listen. Uh -huh. it's, it's gif all right all right it's gif you pronounce it gif listen i got a couple words for you don't let me pull out my vicious mockery at you <laughs> oh that's gif frowned gif. upon in civilized society it's, it, it's actually short for gefelder my last oh. name's fish <laughs> uh that will be a uh a great debate throughout this entire campaign i'm pretty yeah. sure gif yeah. the great the half elf bard and varus the destroyer excuse me the it's varus and it's destroyer Varus, destroy ya. Yes. The half yes. elf fight. Very da. important. Very important. All right. Yes. Destroy ya. Well, everyone, I want to. I didn't I learn just... how to spell so good. <laughs> I want to thank everyone here for to come to this great uh, adventure. First time uh, we have uh, Jack on the show for us, and uh, and I hope we have. I've blackmailed him enough that he will stay with us for quite some time. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping wow. next week we can actually figure out how to actually raid your channel. You may have to turn on raids. I, my raids is on. I never yes. saw your channel pop up. Uh, apparently this night was just a whole issue of, of technical raids. I'm sitting there like refreshing it at 7.58. Like, why haven't they started? Why haven't they started? Well. <laughs> and then I pull up your channel. I'm like, they've started. Oh, no. No. Well, my raids are on. I don't know. We get raided all the time. We get raided all the time. Sir, that's very, that's very. so uh, Paolo, tell yeah. us the uh, deal with the raids here at Night Twenty One Adventures. Well, kind of lucky that we didn't actually get raided because our our policy here, our policy, which we stand by here at Night Twenty One Adventures, is that when we get raided, the party is instantaneously attacked by that many number. Oh no! Of of whatever, whatever. I had I feel fifty like people with. in the in my chat. Yes, yes. So like. <laughs> We get hit by 30, you know, whatever, whatever it is. Sometimes it, it could just be a swarm of bees. Sometimes it's, you know, we got, you know, we get raided by like six or seven people and we're like, you know, we come up across a tough gang of warlocks. Could be anything. Could be anything. You don't know. One person raids us. I'll just throw a dragon at you. Whatever. Oh, yeah. They were fire bees on the, well, we were on the elemental plane of air or something like that. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, they weren't just bees. They were fire bees. And they were nasty. Anywho's. Them's the rules, and we're sticking to that. So uh, we did just hit a level five hype train, and I want to thank all of you uh, for just getting us there, which means we're going to pop this up already. Just We're going to set them to high gear, uh, which basically means everybody's got a, like a boon from the Fae already. Uh, that's that's how we do. We just roll these things on, on the hype trains. So we, we do want to welcome everyone. Uh, we're going to try to bring these people's stories together here right at this moon. Uh, so I'll just pop this, uh, 
pop this this here um, map up here real quick, everybody. Uh, oh wait, that's a background. Never mind. I will pop this up here. Hang on, as a foreground for hops. I know what I'm doing. Maybe, maybe. Yes. Here we go. Take your time, darling. You'll get there. Oh, oh, oh. You're still doing better than me. The local <laughs> map, my friends. Uh, oh, my as you God. can see, right on the top there is Shark Isle, a major city and home to the priests and priestesses of Jesus, a major seaside uh, religion. But uh, as we head on farther south, you see the fields and the valleys of Penfield, Hilltown, Riverdale, Salthead, you know, all the little towns there. And we find ourselves right smack dab in the center of this map in Riverdale. A lovely farming community, a nice uh, low key, but on the main road kind of uh, place. And, uh, and so the town has many, a couple thousand people, several thousand. And uh, so it's, it's not the smallest town in the world. Obviously there are smaller towns, not even on the map. Uh, but there are larger ones as well, of course, but this is a pretty decent sized town. Uh, and we find all of our adventurers today. These young, bold adventurers starting off on their boldest journey yet. Varus. 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 Varus, the destroyer. <laughs> I never get anyone's don't name. Don't make me give you my way. destroyer face. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you don't like that. It's worse than triangle face. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's vicious. Very. Varus has just left his home behind in search of revenge, tracking down a mortal enemy has become his goal. He has recently discovered this enemy can be found in the Feywild and is determined to hunt them down. But on his journey, he met Gif. You got it! Yay! The great, the great. bard that can't wait to explore the world and bring great new songs to the masses. Gif believes that this warrior is meant for greatness and can't wait to see what amazing adventures unfold. These two half-elves <laughs> together <laughs> have been roaming the countryside and are headed where they think they can find a Feywild. They actually don't really know how to get there, but they're just going for it because they're bold. But during their travels, they pass through the farming town of Penfield. And while at a tavern, they were overheard by Kira Tentos, the halfling. And Kira has been dying to leave these towns behind and go forth on adventure, impressing the duo with an amazing display of martial arts. I mean, you can only wrestle so many pigs before it gets old. Yeah. They agreed to bring her on board the party. And as they traveled south, they are in the public house known as, uh, in the town of Riverdale, known as the Pickle Barrel. It's like Cracker Barrel, but with way fewer hang-ups. <laughs> the trio drinks and talks about just how they're going to get to the Feywild and realizes they really don't really know how to get there when a voice speaks up from the next table. Uh, sorry, d don't don't mean to eavesdrop. Uh, it just happens because no one speaks to me, so I overhear other people's conversation. Uh, are you you three trying to to get to the 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 fe fe Feywild? Yes, we. I, I I need to find someone there. Oh, that's that's exciting. Who who do you know how to get there? It'd be fun. Oh yeah. Well, funny you should mention. I I do. Well, how do we get there? Oh well, you 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 go. I don't I don't understand the question. No, you you don't you don't need to sound it out like like get your syllables a bit. This guy right here, this guy right here. You should be the honest. tall one he's talking to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be honest. Oh, he's, he's yeah. a human golden retriever. This one right here. Uh, but just, I'm a half just, elf, though. <laughs> he's only half golden retriever. <laughs> he's a he's a doodle. All right, he's a mix. Uh, so uh, oh. just, just if, you, if you have more specifics, we'd like to know. Is all the same. Is all the same. Just get a little more oh. specific. You know, he's you, well, you, you're talking to him. You know. Yeah. No. Sorry, him. I'm talking to you, Buster. Uh, yeah. It's there's, okay, Chief. Oh, no, it's pronounced Pax, but good try. Uh, uh, we, Thank we, you. There's. Uh, oh, you're you're quite well. You're such a polite, tall person. That doesn't happen very often. I my my mom always told me that I should be a polite talker. 
Oh, well, you were half raised right. That's good. Uh, <laughs> I can't help but notice that there's a bunch of halves here. We got a half elf, another half elf, a half laying. And, and I'm just, I'm half of a normal height. So yeah, you got a lot of, uh, but full goblin. We're like the half tops, you know? I think that's nice. I think that's really oh. nice. You got a little bit of well, stuff there. Why don't you just say those words? We're here with you. Just spit it oh. out. Yeah, there's a. I can I can tell you that it's a convoluted story with some sadness on my end. But if we go 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 deep in the woods, there's 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 a way to do this. Oh yeah, that does not sound shifty whatsoever. I agree. Let's go do it. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta right. trust me, like this half guy over oh. here. All right, all right. How about how about we meet halfway here? Yeah, you see that? Oh, Listen, I, we're gonna we're gonna agree. So clever. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna agree to go with you, but only okay. to give us a bit more information. Oh yeah, of course. So so we'll we'll go. We'll walk to the woods. There's this there's this big table, and you have to there's a there's well you you gotta like drink at the table. It's a very big it's a big table. Uh, they could have a lot of people around it. Quite a stunning dinner party. And then uh, I have to well we have to say like a really uh, intricate. It's actually kind of difficult spell that'll get us there. It, only few people know the intricacies of this, which is where I come in. This ain't no sort of sacrificing something or another, is it? Because it does sound a little kind of like no, a no. bit. It, well, I mean, marginally, you'll lose a few liver cells, but that's fine. Oh, I don't <laughs> even know what those are. Oh, <laughs> We're fine. Okay, okay. Get out of here, tavern cat. <laughs> so, oh, come on, oh, that's don't uh, mind mittens. <laughs> first roll of the game, everyone make a perception check. Oh, all right. I'm real good at that. Oh, no, wait. Oh, holy crap. I rolled a 14. I Do I believe nine. myself? I got a nine. <laughs> I got uh, three. <laughs> so, Giff and Varus are... Uh, Varus. Are, Varus are speaking to each other quite uh, excitedly. And, uh, and there is a tavern cat. Uh, Kira and Pax, you notice that this tavern cat seems to really be paying attention every time you mention going to the Feywild. Um, can I can I pick up the kitty? Because I do love kitties. And then I, hold it up for everyone to see right now using the power of my mind. Look at the ooh. kitty! Oh, little squishy kitty! <laughs> oh! <laughs> so um, what, what, I think this what? kitty is also a destroyer. <laughs> that cat I'll, does not want to be held. <laughs> Make a tag roll, cat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make it's the cat thing you're wearing chainmail. <laughs> oh, uh, I rolled a 19, so you got have to let the cat hit you. <laughs> come back, come back, come back. Just, just push the cat onto your face until the cat. <laughs> I have no part of this. always want to murder. Doesn't that come cat want to be a star? Come <laughs> on, kitty. Actually. <laughs> Be Not the fired, same cat from the Choose Your Own Adventure. <laughs> 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 the puppet work in this show, by the way, is off the charts. I have to say. They're taking their jobs, I'm telling you. <laughs> All those puppets are taking a job. <laughs> hey, my friends, you can find us on YouTube. You can look up some of our old episodes where we've actually had almost 100% puppets playing every <laughs> role, except I think mine. I think my I was the only person, and then occasionally I got turned into a puppet as well. So, uh, so the cat gives you a couple of scratches and flies out of your hands, um, runs off. You can't quite. Uh, there's there are several other people at this tavern, uh, at this pub. So uh, uh, you're like ah, ah, in between the legs, behind a table, behind a chair, and it's gone. Um, the couple of people are like, oh, look over. Uh, the the two barmaids actually come by. Uh, it's Barda and Zarta. They are humans, and uh, and they bring everyone a beer. Uh, so clunk, they clink them on the tables. Uh, they're they're rather uh, fun, exuberant young barmaids, and uh, they just like oh, like you can tell that they were trying to listen, but they didn't really hear too much. But they're always they're always in for uh, you know interested in whatever the adventurers are uh, are doing around these towns. So. They're like, you can tell they're trying to like, like what's happening? And as they put their, why am I miming a, a mug when I have mugs? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, 
Why, why mime a cat when you have a cat? Uh, <laughs> uh, but you can tell they're kind of like, like, mm, are you gonna, no, no, okay. And they kind of like, mm, they saunter back off. Um, and for those of you actually, uh, I know somebody asked here somewhere in the comments back there, uh, is this based on 5e? Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's vaguely based off 5e, but we use, uh, I wouldn't say we use a lot of, well, we do use a lot of rule of cool, but we also use a lot of, uh, uh, of whatever the people want to see. Uh, yeah, we do take your, uh, actions, your advice, and especially when you give us those, uh, those crits and those saves and, you know, all those other things that you can possibly do. I might turn some of them on, uh, no. Yes, there's a couple of them that I haven't started yet that maybe we'll save them for a little bit later. But uh, yeah, so they're out there, my friends. Watch out. Uh, so uh, so the barmaids go off to continue doing their job. Um, you know, there was a conversation happening. The cat is gone for now. You do know that there are cats out in the world that can hear, listen, talk even. So, you know, didn't mean to interrupt. No, uh, so that's, I mean, that's probably as, as upfront as I can be about the whole thing, but you're more than welcome to figure it out on your own, half man, half lady, half bowl cut. Uh, <laughs> I don't oh, want to assign anything. It's a very androgynous Excuse me, dude. excuse me, yes. excuse me. Their name is Jif. Oh, yeah, it, it's, uh, yeah. yeah, it's close uh, enough, it's close enough, it's fine, it's fine. I will say, Pax, I like, I like you, I like your style, I like, Thank you know, you. this whole it's ensemble. Oh, Absolutely, yeah. garbage can is what they say, because oh. it can, <laughs> right, garbage can, right? So I think I have a simple opinion. I just, you know, because these guys are pretty cool and they all got it going on. I would like to cordially be neighborly and invite you along in a non-murder kind of way. I was unaware there was a murder kind of way, so thank you for clarification. You are welcome. I, I'm very, you know, upfront and, you know, I'm a friendly person. I'm <laughs> so. more than happy to take the lot of you if you would like to go. That's what you need, virus, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go get the destroyer in on. Um, yeah, I'm ready for, you know, throw some shapes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right? Come, like, we can, like, throw down. I like, will absolutely fade. throw down. Yeah. Oh, we are going to get our asses kicked. No, oh, man, I'm the destroyer. It says so right here. It does. And, and it's not just because he needs to remember how to spell it every day when he looks in the mirror in the morning. Oh. It, it's definitely not written in his underpants as well, so he knows which ones it is. No, I don't, oh. you don't. You don't have to check. Okay, that's <laughs> back. Yeah. And he, uh, uh, so uh, let me let me ask a quick question, Pax. Um, oh, yeah. Any recommend recommendations on what we ought to pack, or should we just go for it? Just go for it. Is that what you're uh, saying? Just go for it. Don't pack anything. Just. Uh, you know, it, it's how do you prepare for the unexpected? So, right, I think, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, there's been uh, Varus. I would pack another ch change of underwear with your name on it, and I think we're good to go. All right, I'm now good. There, there is an overland route uh, packs that you know of, but you do know that the river actually goes upstream fairly close. It would be it would be a, not too far if you took the uh, boat all the way up all the way up into the hills and then uh got off there and walked it would be a shorter route you don't know which one is more dangerous uh but they do lead both into the elven woods so outside uh, of the kingdom of this uh this city state empire that it is and into who knows what uh, in the interest of full disclosure, you all seem lovely. There are two, two ways we could go about it. Uh, we could, you know, uh, hoof it on foot and walk there, or we could we could take a boat. But I, I don't have much insight into the 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 dangers of either wet route. 
which one's faster? Well, I, oh goodness, I like you because you make me feel intelligent. Water's gonna move a bit faster than the feet will, uh, but that, you know, unless you wanna run, I, you're fun. I'm always running. But I think we should take the water because oh. I don't think you guys could run as fast as me, right? Oh, I don't know. No, I've I got my good clogs. Even... I could give it a go. Are we going to race? Probably... I'm going to race you. We're going to race. I'm going to couple of instruments. It's not going to go well. My yeah. legs yeah, are Jeff tiny. to carry the stuff. Yeah, yeah I'm going to carry it all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, then um, I guess it's a boat. Yeah, let's take the boat. What could go wrong? Can we? Well, we can... as we have decided what could possibly go wrong as they get on the boat, you are watching the Nat 21 Adventures Into the Feywild here every Tuesday night for the foreseeable future. If you are having a good time and you're new, hit that follow button and subscribe to our Twitch channel. We have new shows every Monday through Thursday. And if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free Twitch channel per month. Consider spending with us. And to all of you new viewers, huzzah! Thanks for watching. I mean, beyond the comedy, it was a really good thing Jack joined the show tonight. I mean, like, he gave us popularity that we haven't been able to do in two years of programming. Uh, you'll have to forgive. The god around here likes to just remind us how we're sponsored from time to time. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm very, I'm very alarmed. No, no, no. He's, he's used to it after a while. We're not even in the Fey Wild yet, and we're already hearing voices. It's all right. You know why? You know why? Because I am the chosen one. I think I'm not sure. But I think that's my God up there. That's right. And, and he just he just follows me wherever I go, gives me inspiration in my heart. You know, I mean, sometimes you can hear uh -oh. it because of just how much he likes me. W what Mine is... gives me cholesterol. <laughs> is yeah. it God cheese? Well, There's as you look around the bar, uh, you do see that uh, there are uh, there are a couple of people here who definitely look like boatmen. Uh, and, you know, there are several boats here. There, there's a not a big port, but there's, you know, a dock with some shipping cargo boats uh, that eh, probably could ferry you up there. Um, there are other people in the bar as well, if you care about other people. But <laughs> I want to go up to one of the boatmen. Be like, Ooh. excuse me. Hello. My name is Varus the Destroyer. We need to go to... Just up. The... We just need to go up. We need to go up. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, the, yeah. the water. Yeah. That's, yeah. 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 I'm right behind him, by the way, going like this. Yeah, we're going. Go down. <laughs> I'm on the other side and I am looking very intimidating. I'm All probably right. out of eyesight. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him my, my destroyer face. Yeah. Uh a pretty not I'm gonna say not entirely intoxicated, but sort of intoxicated boatman. Is in the middle of drinking and he's like, Do you want to just go up the river? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. All the way? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Tell this guy says stop. Yeah. And I'll tell, tell, whoa. Okay. Yeah. Tell I say stop. Grr. It gets a little swampy up there, but I get you as far as my boat could go for a mere. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's call a it. song? What's that you said for a song? Oh, a song. So sweet How about of you? Five gold pieces. I'll get you up there. Five gold pieces. We got, do we have five gold? Um, just one minute, please. But not a crazy price for a um, private yeah. charter boat all the way up the river. Um. How much you got? I got like, I've got um, three potatoes. <laughs> um, I have 15 because that was what D&D &D 5e told me to start with. 15 potatoes? No, 15 no, gold potatoes? pieces. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, I think so. Like, I could, I could just do that. I don't know if I'm not right. I'm allowed to have that. I didn't actually check that with the dungeon master first, though. I, you, yeah, you, you, that's, that's, that is literally like all the money you took with you, like, Yes. You saved up yes. everything. It's 15. my life savings. And you're like, holy crap, he wants a third of my entire life savings? Like, oh, shit. Okay, I, okay. I'll tell you what, well, let's, we... let's negotiate. Do that. Well, negotiate. Well, yeah. We're all it's a bunch like of you never... 
we've established we're all halves, so maybe we could get him to have because we're not yet full, you know. That's a good one. Uh, uh, um, Mr. Boat Captain, sir, I couldn't help but notice you have um, your your, your uh, uh, full boat, but there's just half, uh, you know, I'm a half lane. Yeah. They're half elves. And I'm essentially a backpack with a stutter, so. <laughs> Can I like help by like looking intimidatingly over her shoulder? If you would like to attempt to intimidate, you may roll. Ooh, that's a dirty 21. <gasps> no, dirty 22. <laughs> Even dirtier 22. So dirty. Oh, all right, also. Okay. <laughs> all right, so he's like, uh, all right, tell you what. Two gold, I'll take you as far as that little gnome town. Uh, but, yeah, if you want to go any further... We'll would... negotiate on the ride. How's that sound? Wait, what was the rest of the offer, though? We well, want to go any further. Uh, two more gold to go the past. The, the gnome town's pretty far up there, but, I mean, otherwise it's a little bit dicey. If you, I mean, if you had to put a percentage on this gnome town, how far? Would it I'd be like ninety percent. I mean, it's oh, almost all the way there. I mean, is, is that good? I, uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's a lot. Fine. Yeah, that's oh, okay. good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sounds, you meant numerically good. is that good? I thought you yeah, meant yeah, no, yeah. Ninety is half, but most of a hundred. Oh, that's, okay. Yeah, well, really, let's just do that. Good. Yeah, and a hundred, a hundred is the whole thing. You know. oh, yeah, yeah. oh okay yeah. unless you're talking oh. about minutes and then that's 60 but then things I, start I, to get complicated yeah and then you get into the line of... sorry all right well, you're clearly the one pre... yeah you're oh. you're the smart one i got it i got that's it new. thank you boy and i thought yeah, pathfinder just... had a lot of math <laughs> <laughs> so i i say we we do it i think that's you know it, it would just be us so yeah pull out two gold two gold i'm down all right just put it on the table. And he takes it, slides it, looks at it. You can tell that he's not really sober at this point. You know, if his vision's blurred enough, that's going to look like four gold right there. Yeah, there's four right there. There's Good four enough. Gold. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, I think my buddy here is going to be ready to go early in the morning. Oh, okay. Early it is. I mean, we can't just leave right now. I got things loading up on that thing. Yeah, no, load up your your things and whatnot. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is it's clearly time for a dance party. Okay, Giff. Let's make some music because I am ready to throw some shapes right now. I am feeling the moves happening. Oh right, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we can actually this might be a good time. I didn't even think of this to uh maybe get some cold, gold coins thrown my way because I'm just that good. I'm that good. You are that, oh, good. I'm that good. Make I it hail, go. as the kids say. Absolutely. <laughs> throw it back, you know. Here we go. I don't know. Gonna make it mean. rain potatoes. I'm gonna Making stand a little bit. Oh, be careful. One of those could give me a concussion. Uh, I, I would like to um, to uh, climb up on the nearest table and uh, and uh, I, I don't even know if I have to roll for like performance to get everyone to just look at me or if my haircut is just enough to draw the attention. You uh, would not be the only person standing on the table, but if you want right, to make right. kind of a performance check to be like, "Hey, everybody," you know, I mean, you won't, you don't say, "Hey, everybody, look at me," but that is what. No, no, does. I would like to say, "Hey, everybody, look at me." Okay. Give me that performance check to just start right. this ball rolling. Woo! All right, I've got. Oh boy, it said I am the bit. Oh, I didn't memorize this. Nineteen. Look at that. Oh my goodness! You yeah. literally get on up there like a little bit of a tap dance. You you slam your foot down a couple times and literally and strum. Whatever instrument do you have? An instrument? <laughs> I, I've got. I've got. I've got a guitar, but it's just right. you know. You strum that power chord, and yeah. uh, and everyone just. Are you ready? No. Yes. Say yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, you yeah. know what I'm yeah. ready. Go! Woo! 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 Yeah! Yeah! 
Okay. <clears throat> this is a song about the greatest adventurer that ever lived. And you know what? I'm even going to throw in all about this other fantastic little ten toes we've got going on here. You ready? And we cast lightning. Everybody was frightened. My man Boris was grooving. And we all started moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the orc in the back said, everyone attack. And then it went Boris Chris. And the girl that you know named Kira Tento joined the party and Barris Chris, Barris Chris, Barris Chris. That's my jam. No, that it's a song. It's not okay. That's fine. You don't. That's not right. my ash. Well, give me that other performance check, and let's yeah. see if the peoples throw some. Uh, Let me roll. Not this. I will throw they, potatoes. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's it. It's a knot. Can I can I twerk to assist? If you want to twerk to assist, you may. Yeah. I mean, you're I've not going to hear shapes. a complaint out of me. <laughs> In that moment, Pax throws what little money he has into the. <laughs> uh, uh, well, give me that. Uh, give me that performance check there. <laughs> you may be half elf, but your whole booty. That is uh, fourteen. <laughs> uh, that's close enough. Uh, all right, so <laughs> with your uh, together, as you stand on the chair, gif on the table, uh, you work it together, and uh, the bar gives up all nearly. <laughs> Okay, I literally rolled three ones. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, GIF was given a nat 21 oh, by Zelani. Yes. Sorry, I didn't see that. Um, Thank you. Thank so you, Zelani. In that you moment of bad. like, oh, this is going bad, Varys saves yeah. it by twerking a little bit. GIF oh. brings it home. <laughs> and... I will, I will allow that. So I'm gonna re-roll uh, those three ones that I literally, I literally rolled three ones. I can't even believe it. All right, so that's a little better. How about twenty-seven silver pieces? Ooh, Woo! this is not the richest town in the world, BT Dubs, but uh, <laughs> the combination brings it home. Uh, however, Gif, as you are collecting the money, you see one platinum piece. Oh, that's good eating. It's You're like somebody eating. out there threw you a honey. You're not really sure. Gonna keep this safe, you know. Just, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Uh, uh, I definitely uh, did not uh, see that one coming. So this is good. This is good. Any, any idea where that comes from? I have no idea. But, uh, this is good. Do you want to check or you just, you know, give a little. Hmm? I mean, I can I, yeah. Can I roll a perception to see where it came from? Is it, is it something I can do? Or you want me to just look around? I mean, I don't see nobody from uh, here because actually, I'm yeah, dazzled you know what? by my give own Give me talent. like an insight check. And as a performer, you kind of like, you can sometimes tell when somebody's like, uh, you know. Oh, wow. I just got a, a nat 20 plus whatever or minus whatever. So uh, it's a 19. But it was a natural crit. It was a, it was a crit, yeah. All right. Look at that. You you're like, oh shit. You're looking around. You're looking around like, and you've got it in your hand. You're like, who in the world in this bar would have thrown me? And you look right at the stable boy, who you've seen him running back and forth, working. You know, he's moving saddles and doing all the things that stable boys are wont to do. And he, looking right at you, and sees you looking at him, and he's like, "And I look at him. And he looks at me, <laughs> me. And I look at him. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> and then he's like, "What? Oh. <laughs> hey, you guys, where are you?" <laughs> I assume none of us know what's going on here, right? None of the rest of you know what's going on. <laughs> you got some moves there, I gotta say. You were you were shaking that potato right up and down. You were gonna get it like, mm, I swear, that was some fine 
fine dancing you had there. Just moved the way that GIFs, GIF the Greats music moved me. <laughs> Almost I'm, helps I'm me feeling that. forget the harder times. So is there anything else? Uh, so is there is there anything else that you're going to do now that you with this sweet platinum piece or I mean, I'm um, first of all, I'm going to keep it in a safe place. I'm going to just like, right. stick it in a pocket, you know, make sure nobody can get at it. And I'm going to hop down and I'm going to uh, go see if I can if I can talk to that person. Uh, yeah, okay. we'll go saunter yeah. over, you know, because they, they, they gave me a big tip. Listen, I don't care where they got it. I'm just curious. You know, right. I deserve it, obviously. I'm that, I'm that good. I'm the great it's in my name. Oh, it is in your name. Uh, all right. So uh, you eventually, you know, the stable boy eventually like comes back with some some uh, polish, some shoe polish and stuff, and some leather polish that he had, uh, and he's like, "Oh, uh, hey, hey, you you yeah. were great." Yeah, I know. Thank you. I'm aware, uh, and apparently you're aware too, because I, I know, I know, I'm that good, I'm that good. But you, uh, you gave me a, a nice little tip there, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. You deserved it. I, I know. <laughs> I'm well aware. Yeah. You're so but modest too. My, uh, my, uh, thank you. Uh, my question is, uh, what, do we, where'd you get that to throw me? And do you have more? Because I've got more songs. Uh. I mean, I, yeah, sure. I have more. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Where'd I get yeah. it? I just have it. What? What? You just have no, it. You just sitting around. That's what humans do. They just have platinum, and. Uh. Now I have written a few seventy-two-page librettos on humans. Complete rhyme. It's gonna be big one day. Yeah, it's gonna be real big. It's gonna we're gonna call it a, a, a iambic pentameter or something. I don't know. But listen, uh, I don't think that humans just walk around with that kind of money. You know, you gotta be a certain type of human. And you, uh, you don't, you don't look like that kind of human. No offense. What kind of human do I look like? I mean, I'm a human that has stuff and things. Yeah, this is not going well. Uh, let me see. Uh, you look like the sort of person who's ambitious no i am yes yeah. uh uh who 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 hungers for great things but maybe does not achieve them i mean i have been hanging around here for a little too long i feel like yeah yeah oh, oh yeah 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 uh i i am i am failing at this and i fail very little things uh, if i were to write a limerick about you I didn't know Sorry. that I would make it all five lines. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just maybe, maybe in three. You catch what I'm throwing out there. Where'd you get the money? <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I'm maybe not as young as I look and I've been around and I make money. What? I, I thought you were fun and nice, and now I'm kind of like weirded out. <laughs> Wait right there. <laughs> I would like to go get back up. <laughs> Cause I'm just I've just made a total donkey in myself. And I think you're I know one. You're the one with the charisma. <laughs> I like it. I know, I know, I know. I just, you know, it is really awkward, you know. Was, uh Man, I really could just charm this person, couldn't I? <laughs> just tell me wherever I want to know. Sure, could you could, yeah. You know what? I'm going to Just I'm like a teenager. You know. It's just, you know, I, uh, all right. Uh, I would like to, let me see, let me see. Should I do that? Yeah, I would like to cast persuade, uh, uh, to roll for persuasion. I would like you to tell me from whence your gilded coin came. All right, roll that persuasion. I'm not gonna cast this. Uh, that is a fifteen. Yeah. Like the the stable boy just looks at you. Yeah. And I look at him. And, and he, looks he looks at you. <laughs> and we're all looking at the two of you going. Uh <laughs> I I make eye contact with GIF and I and I say um you want me to, you, you want me to, 
wrestle him? Uh, uh, do you do you want me to wrestle him? Oh, thank God, I'm short. <laughs> Now listen, stable boy. Listen, listen, stable boy person. Look, I want you to look over there. You see that beautiful head of, of, of hair blowing in the wind? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and uh, uh, you see that you see that big, bright, beautiful bro that says destroyer. Yeah, that right there, that's a hero. That's a hero. And he is going to reap the benefit of that beautiful coin that you just threw me. Because you know why? That's what heroes do. Yeah. Yeah, I know, because I've written a couple of sonnets about it. Now listen. I'm just curious because that is a fine, upstanding adventurer right there. I want to make sure that this money has come from an honest place. And if it hasn't, I'm just not going to tell them. I just want to know. You know. Well, that's what all you people say. Yeah. Uh -oh. You people. No, no, he did it. <laughs> Step right in it. <laughs> you people. Yeah. Oh, all right. Least, all right. Kira. Kira. Come on, Rassel. Right. Come on, let's go. All right. Let's go. All right. All right. Our turn. Our turn. So, hey, our turn. Before, before, before we get to wrestling, just tell me what your name is, or do I just call you Stable Boy? Uh, no, you... They call me, hang on, wait. They call me Petro. Petro. All right. All right, Petro. Now, look, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to oh, no. hug you real nice and gentle like, okay? And I got to oh, hug him. Don't... It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Don't gas him up. Okay. His name's Petro. Then I throw him to the floor and oh, I no. try to hog tie him. You do. That's uh, that's hilarious. All right. We are gonna uh, get no. Sue weed. <laughs> uh, why don't you uh why don't you give me a grappling check there? All right, all right. I will say I roll like crap. Okay. <laughs> I just want to get that out there right now. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna roll this D21 made of metal. Uh, okay, all right, so it's not as terrible. Let's see, it's a 17. And what do you add to that? My uh, well, you can use your strength or your dexterity. All uh, right, let's add on... uh, my dex is 20. Nice. So, as you like, you like start to like you're gonna you're gonna like put him down on the ground uh he starts to grow larger oh, and larger no. and the oh. rest of you oh. <laughs> watch as the it turns silver and gets a little bit bigger and it has wings and oh. it's only about 12 feet long Oh Great. yeah, I got plus two. Uh, but it is a silver dragon. <laughs> oh, aren't you pretty? Aren't you so pretty? She's so pretty. I'll oh. just uh, <laughs> and it just um, punches you. Uh, that was a twenty-seven. So <laughs> 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 she goes. She goes like, <laughs> just wham, like across the and like ha. <sighs> Okay. The silver dragon turns to Gif okay. and goes, I got the platinum from my horde. All right. Oh. Now, and, and what a lovely horde it is. Okay. All right. Yes, Mary. <laughs> Could I have a platinum too? <laughs> I do not think now is the time to go double platinum, Please? gang. Sometimes you just take the single platinum and you walk away. <laughs> Please? Oh God! Okay, Great I gotta say, <laughs> I gotta uh, I, say, I, I would like are... to. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I, I like your no, style. No, no, I would like to jump back up on the table, whip out my guitar, and go yeah, and get ready to sing the ballroom crit song again. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's top the charts once. Why not do it again? Uh, so everyone around you has obviously stood up gotten back some people have pushed tables over oh, no. uh there is actually a table full of gnomes that is kind of, they're like a party of adventures and they're like it's the silver dragon and uh and two of them pull out crossbows they put the table over and and uh whoa now, whoa now, whoa one of them pulls now. out a wand uh 
Whoa. Yeah. The other one pulls out an awesome short sword. This, this no. here silver dragon beat me hang fair on, and hang square. On. I'm, I'm trying to get time. money out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Would hang you on. like yeah. to, I don't know, maybe give a persuasion roll or maybe just, you know, sure. throw down a... Uh, oh, this is going to be great. Maybe a like pick up line, perhaps. Maybe. No, oh, no, I got a seven. Um, oh. Wait, if can I get advantage if I if I do a good pickup line? You can get advantage if you do a bad pickup line. Oh, okay. <laughs> is so wait, is this dragon um, male or female? Well, currently it's a dragon, and you're unknown because well, dragons have cloacas. Hey, dragon, you know what I'd like to be. Dragging these nuts with you. <laughs> Dear God, we are gonna get burned alive. Yeah, you heard him. Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. that in the nicest way. Like we can, we can both be friends in a, in a consensual way that we both enjoy. Yeah. Oh, goodness. You can I reroll now? Uh, you got thrown a plus five. So let's see what what happens with that. <laughs> I legit can never uh, unhear that. I that can is, never unhear that. That is still only a 13. <laughs> That's a 19. That's 13. Oh, 13. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the silver dragon walks over to you. It's like, you know, just do, do, do. Gets, gets their face right up into yours. And it's like. I'm not sure if I understood you correctly or not, but either way. <laughs> oh, jeez. And I critted. Not I'm, I'm just going to assume, I'm just like off there. in the corner, just unconscious. So uh, uh, I'll is, have you know, next a, week we are rolling up new characters. So. It is a small-ish dragon. So I, I will say that it is a young dragon. It is only, like I said, it's 12 feet long, which, you know, does mean that it's it still can put its neck at you know well above your height uh but, oh geez and of course i did roll uh it's a 12 for oh, the okay. damage all right just boom and punches you across the room uh <laughs> which are you are I'm you alive I'm at, I'm at one health yeah. <laughs> oh god um you <laughs> i just like I set up like my very first bit out of two it's like well, yeah the, sounds yeah. good bro I'm gonna I'm go step outside. Bartender, can I have another beer? Amazingly, we are right at nine o'clock, which means this is a great <laughs> moment for confessions. <laughs> That's right. Every time, halfway through the show, everyone gets a confession. You ever have some of those days where you go out and you think, I'm going to try being social because it's been a hot second since I've talked to people. And then you do it and you instantly regret, regret it? Yeah. Uh, I, I should just shut up when I go out to bars and not talk to, to people. But uh, I like them. They're going to get me killed. But at least it's spicing up the dance card a little bit. Oh. Uh, I enjoy the the tater woman and that tall guy who just got the stuffing kicked out of him makes me feel like a road scholar though we're taking a boat and and then the one who looks like a coconut fancies himself a great performer so um if we live I'll be happy and if we die at least I'll know peace <laughs> I never wrestled a dragon before. I tell you what, that was exhilarating and I can still feel it in my nose. I'm gonna I'm gonna find my center now. My center is a potato. Uh, but I'm gonna make sure that poor beautiful that beautiful boy of ours is not gonna get wiped all over the floor. I'm gonna do what I can to intervene and you know, distract that beautiful, beautiful dragon. I want to be able to say I beat a dragon. I'll just say, that silver dragon is so pretty. But you know what? I, I do like everybody that I'm wrong with. Even that little gobble guy. Bless his little stuttering heart. He is adorable. I'm going to write some songs about that. That's the type of gift. Now, I just want to say something real, real fast. Uh, uh, there is a stereotype about us bugs, you know? 
And I, I love, I love uh, that that I can break that mold, and that my buddy barman can break that mold because usually it is the bard that instantaneously says, "I roll to seduce the dragon." Well, you know what? It wasn't me this time, was it? Mm -mm. No, it wasn't. That's why I wrote him a theme song, a good theme song, the best theme song. Maybe we'll even hear it. I don't know. If he dies, I might not sing it ever again. But I, he's not going to, because we're great. We break molds. We break stereotypes. We break our way into your hearts, but we would never break your hearts. <laughs> I just wanted to fuck the dragon. <laughs> also, I felt better, but I still have uh, still a second wind. So uh, I'm just going to heal some, some health right now. So I'm feeling... I'm feeling all right. I felt better. We'll get there. I haven't really been paying attention to what's been going on tonight. <clears throat> I just saw like a dude turn into a dragon. It's like, might as well, you know, shoot your shot. <laughs> shoot your shot. <laughs> <laughs> Go away, camera. I'm done with you. <laughs> but you, you fuck one dragon and everybody. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, I just, that's I just two. That's our limit as a PG-13 show. Thank you. I just want to point out that normally by this point in time, I have taken literally all my notes and chucked them over the wall because the party has gone right off the road of whatever <laughs> I had planned. And I just want to say that I actually, this is, this is legit. Like, check it out. Petro, right? Stable boy. Not a boy. Not a human. Silver dragon. Anyway. Female. <laughs> yeah, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> not a boy. <laughs> not a human. Uh, and uh, and it was like, it was supposed to be like, uh, you know, you get some information about the Feywild from this person and you would, oh. uh, and, you know, like not nah. get in a fight nah. with them. That was... No. That's not what we do here. That's not how we do. I mean, Hex knows how to get us to the Fey Wild. It's it's all good. Yeah, I that's true. And you're easier to transport if you're in a casket. So yeah. no, it's fine. I'm back up to five health. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Look at that second yeah. win. Just you yeah. know. Just, yeah, it's yeah. good. Okay, buddy. So well, as all of that is happening, and we are deciding. Uh, which part of this was actually a good idea, and if this will be a TPK tonight, you are watching Nat 21 Adventures Campaign 11 Into the Feywild, and we are brought to you by some wonderful sponsors, and please support the show by supporting our sponsors and cast. This is your opportunity to go have a pee break. You can go to Tabletop Teas! Handcrafted, geek-inspired, woman-owned loose-leaf tea blends done in small batches. This is for the nerdy amongst us. Go to tabletopteas.com. It's not just tea game time, it's tea time. Little Empires! Oh yeah, Little Empires D&D &D gaming supplies. Uh, I don't have a card for them because powder didn't make me one, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit share screen. Um, I'm going to go over to Chrome tab. I'm going to go to this right here. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to uh, turn that off right there. And oh, oh, you can see it maybe, maybe. Is it there? Is Oh, there it is. Add to stream. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Little Empire's tabletop gaming supplies. And you can get all sorts of things. Enhance your next gaming tabletop adventure. And if you're looking for unique magic items, make sure you visit the Etsy storefront where they list their precious one-of-a-kind wares. Get your gaming boards. Get your stuff that is forged in dwarven mines. All made by Louis, who has often appeared on this show. And finally, we are brought to you by the D&D &D um, Castle Tour brought to you by Ren Adventures. We did our very first one. We did our July 2020 tour last July 2022. Yes, it only took three years to make it happen, but Paolo and Shakespeare 
took people to castles by day, and we play D&D at night. We even have a satisfied customer right here on the show, Mab, just Mab. What did you think about your D&D castle experience? Hmm. Well, I would have to say it was awesome. It was so much fun. Uh, as far as tour companies go, uh, they were very uh, aware and considerate to people of all different uh, abilities and mobilities. And uh, uh, everything was really taken into consideration. The lodging was fantastic. The food was amazing. The company was brilliant. And uh, the places that we visited were lovely. So uh, 10 out of a billion, wait, no, a billion out of 10, I would go again. Fantastic. Thank you, Mab Just Mab. And just so you know, we are sponsored, we are brought to you by all of you, our Patreon Saints. Patron Saints, you help run the show. You make everything work. You pay our bills. You can become a Patreon Saint and gain extra powers by going to patreon.com slash nat21adventures. And if you can't uh, contribute uh, on a monthly basis, you can go on a one-by-one -one basis by going to coffee.com slash nat21adventures. That's ko-fi.com slash nat21adventures and buy us a drink. But also make sure you really help us out on Twitch. Hit that follow button, all of you new people. Subscribe to our Twitch channel. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get one free Twitch subscription per month. It is the one good thing Bezos has given the universe. Spend it with us. Thank you. And make sure you follow us on all of our social media. On Facebook, on Nat 21 Adventures Instagram page, on TikTok, this is how we judge our self-worth and life. And you can catch up on all of our past episodes, including our puppet extravaganzas at <laughs> youtube.com slash Nat 21 Adventures. Smash that like button, hit the subscribes, do all of the things, and huzzah to our Patreon saints. Huzzah! 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 Awkward eye contact. Joining the club. That's right, before we start our second half, I do want to give a rousing huzzah out to not just our Patreon Saints, but especially to Reverend Tommy, our Twitch moderator, who is behind the scenes literally making these these things all happen. Uh, well, yeah. Thank you, Reverend Tommy, for being awesome. And now, back to our TPK. I mean, our game. No. <laughs> TPK. 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 All right, Thank now you. look, y'all, I'm an adult. You don't need to spell around me. You could just say the whole word. The to dragon up. looks at you and says, next one who touches me, dragon breath. Uh, I gotta say, I gotta say, Petra, you are amazing. I ain't never wrestled a dragon before. This is the first for me. And I'll tell you, you really pack a wall up. I gotta say, it was fantastic. It was a lot of fun. No, now, now I, I'd like to jump in for a moment. So, uh, Petro, you beautiful, shining thing, you, uh, you've no, answered just... my question. So, uh, we, we're done here. If you're good, I'm good. We're good. You answered my question. That's great. Uh, he don't he don't actually need one. I'll just give him mine that you gave me. That's fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're good. So if you just want to leave, that's fine. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. You know. All right, hang on. I want a drink. I want a drink with this silver dragon. Come on now. Yeah, I'll buy you around. I've got a I've got a whole <laughs> coin here. Give, give give me a persuasion roll. Woo, all right. Now you Here did have a plus one. I saw you had had at least one plus one over there that, that got, got that rolled through the comments there. I've got plus one, all right. So yeah. that's my plus five, plus six, two. Oh no, I dropped it. What is it? What is it? What is it? I lost it entirely. Hang on. Just gonna roll well, you don't want to be relying on my roll, I assure you. Cause no, let me uh, let me pull roll. up ye old, ye old app here. Oh, not it's, a not, a it's a 19. Look at that. Plus six. So that's what So hilariously, when you were like, yeah, you can just go. That's actually what the dragon was thinking about doing. But because <laughs> you mentioned it, the dragon's like, no, I'm going to stay. <laughs> I'd like to buy, I'd like to buy my new friend, Petro, uh, another round. What are you drinking there, Petro? I'll tell you, we're going to have to wrestle. I want a rematch. At least can we do a dance off? 
Want to do a dance off? Maybe dance after a couple off. bottles of wine. Oh yeah, let's let's line them up, buddy. Come on, line them up. Uh, the bartender's like, "What happened to my stable boy? I just hired him a few days ago." What? Clearly, that boy was unstable. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I everything's like fine here. We're good. We're great. Uh, uh, everything's perfectly fine. Completely normal, under control. Thank you. How are you? Do you want to I'm entirely stable, boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like a friendly arm wrestle? Yeah, uh, let's do that! Uh, the bartender is like... Uh, but, uh. How about this? We, we arm wrestle and the loser buys a drink for the other one. I accept. All right. Says Petra, the dragon. Uh, <laughs> In dragon form, let me tell you. In dragon form. All right. Uh, let me what, ask a quick is, question. What is the strength modifier on this dragon? <clears throat> a lot. <laughs> let, me, let me ask a quick question. Can, can <clears throat> Virus and I team up against you at the same time? No. Let me do it. The only request I have, Varus, is that you keep your nuts away. Please and thank you. Of course, of course. The dragon it. was very clear Got about it. that. I wouldn't do that without consent. Just Got checking. It. Very it's important. Good. Pax, I'm insulted. You wouldn't yeah. even think such a thing. I didn't really think a lot of things until the last five minutes, but <laughs> go off, I, I feel that. I know I know that feeling. That's okay. Oh, you have Are fun. we wrestling or what? Yes. Uh, <laughs> is it straight strength check? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> The dragon uh, squeezes your hand. What is your strength? My strength is 16. I, it's it's not bad, but the dragon does like and you're you're like your hand is already like oh god. Oh. It is a young dragon, so it's not it's not the strongest thing in the world, but it definitely is it's you know, you know how like a chimpanzee can rip your fingers off. Mm, you know, they don't yeah. look like a gorilla. They're not like built like a gorilla, but they can, they still have the strength mm -hmm. to just yeah. literally They're peel sinewy. your fingers right off your hand. You're starting to get that idea. And uh, so, yeah, so roll for it. Uh, I got a 21. Nice. Yes. With yeah. how amazingly, with Reverend Tommy's minus one to me. You, you won. I'm sinewy too. <laughs> yeah, we knew this. We knew it. Everybody knew it. Everybody. I'm gonna try and get the whole bar to go. Bar man. Bar man. Bar man. That's my bar jam. Man. The yeah. dragon is incredulous. Uh, literally, the dragon was winning, and and then right at the wrong moment. Uh, yeah, you brought it home, uh, or the right moment for you. Dragon looks at you. Time for a song. <laughs> hey, that was that was a great match. You're so strong. That was awesome, man. Let's do it again sometime. Or or woman. Or, or I I don't know what you are exactly or how to refer to you. I don't know your prof dragon. Okay, that was awesome, dragon person. Let's do it again sometime. Just uh, I'll have I'll have a beer. The dragon goes like here's the, the rest of the bar literally is like up against the wall behind tables like the gnomes still have like crossbows and they're like they're ready to you know wands the the everyone else is like up against the wall and you guys are just like literally in the center of the bar just whatever <laughs> the dragon saunters over to the bar and coughs up Two platinum pieces to tink, tink, tink. It's like, I don't really have any change. Just, uh, drinks for you already. You, you already went through a, ch a pretty aggressive change, so it's understandable. It's true. Uh, it says drinks for everyone. Looking around at everyone who is like behind tables and uh, and ready to shoot and things like that. Drinks for everyone. Uh, the bartender, like, is it still Petro? It's like, it's Petra, but yeah. 
Uh, it's like, and again, like slides the two platinum pieces like <laughs> with their claws across the table. Uh, the partner's like, okay, okay, all right. Drinks for everybody, everybody. Uh, and uh, the entire bar kind of just, oh yeah, they're they're like, they all breathe a big sigh of relief. Tables come back down, and they all come over to the bar. Yeah, and, yeah. I'm on it too, jiggle, jiggle. And foe, we like, see you wiggle, wiggle. Foe shot, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, well, they turned it into quite the party. And uh you continue on into the night as uh as the party continues. Um anything you do or don't want to happen before you get on the boat tomorrow morning. I feel like we've pushed our luck enough at this point. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. The I night continues. I want to drink with Pax. That's what I want to do. So, All right. You get your drinks on with Pax. Uh, the dragon. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, hmm. Uh, you've you said you pushed your luck, so you're not going to try anything else. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> I see Gif looks like you want to try something. I mean, listen, all I'm going to do is just play requests. You know, I'm just going to DJ a bit. <laughs> anything, anything at all. Listen, uh, no highbrow stuff tonight. We are celebrating. Might even play a couple of uh, of old standards. Whatever people want. I'm, I'm here for a party. You know, the drinks keep flowing. I keep playing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, all right. The night goes on. The, the fun is had. You finally get rooms in the in the pub. And uh, and there's a rap on your door in early in the morning. Uh, it's me. It's it's Rufus. Like you, you guys still want that barge, right? Oh, yep, absolutely. Uh, right, well, we're 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 setting set. We're not sailing. We're we're boating. I don't know how many sails? Yeah. We're barging. Oh, okay. Barging? And I just, like, barge out the door. <laughs> like, that's my favorite thing. Clearly. <laughs> Rufus is uh, none too thrilled, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, Rufus is clearly hungover. And he's not doing well. And his... Uh, uh -huh. His, uh, his boatmate, Gregor the Dwarf, is fine. Uh, he drank more than anything you've ever seen uh, <laughs> and seems to be chipper as all get out. Um, you head over to the docks. There's indeed a barge. It is a slow moving river. So basically they just pull up, uh, up the river and, uh, and some patent. They've got some oars. Uh, there's, there's four people total. It's Rufus, it's uh, Gregor and two nameless NPCs. <laughs> I want to talk to the nameless NPCs. Damn it, of course you do. <laughs> as he approaches, What's your name? As he approaches, I'd like to be playing a, a riff of a da 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 sail, and then you can oh, go. It's a jam. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm hyping you up. Go ahead. Yeah, yo, NPC dude. What's your name? Uh, my name is Frank. Frank. Yes. Where are you from, Frank? I'm from around here. Oh, that's awesome. I'm I'm not. I'm from another place. Well, I was from another place. Now I'm from nowhere. But Where Frank, it's nice looking? to meet you. Oh, uh, you sure are chipper. Oh man, mornings are my favorite time of the day, you know? Up and at them early on. Let's go. <laughs> Yay. Frank is clearly also hung over as well. <laughs> and uh, as he, yeah, no, as as you just get really chipper in his face, he literally like leans over the, the barge and just just hurls. It's like, I'm fine, do this all the time. Oh, you're okay, man. Here, I rub his back. 
Just give him a little little back rubsies there. Hold his hair <laughs> right out yeah. of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Hold hair back. <laughs> does he have Does he have long hair? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna big, hold his hair back. Big scruffy guy. Yeah. I, I'm. You know what? I'm gonna even like loan him my, my headband for a hot second, oh. just to like make sure the Ooh. hair's really back. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but you can't have that. That's my destroy headband. That's oh. that's how people know who I am. I'm far. Right. I'm. I'm. I'm a thanks, destroyer. thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Just yeah. I got you, bro. I got you. Thanks. And then I'll just I'll be fine. It'll be all right. Okay. Ugh. That's yeah, great, I'm man. I'm glad you're having. I'm. I'm glad you're having a a a a, 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 a time. Uh, Gregor the dwarf comes over to you and is and is like, uh, hey, uh, you, you might want to leave him home, uh, uh, leave him alone. He's, he's trying to trying to paddle here. And he's slowing down. We're heading to the shore accidentally. Speed up there, Frank. And uh, Frank, oh, sorry. And uh, cause of course, Frank is going the you know facing the opposite direction. So. <laughs> Crit to have. I didn't see anything up here. Wow, Sally, you are. It's almost as if you read my mind. It's almost as if you read my mind. Well, at least we all just got a long rest. That's right. You sail up the After river. After getting punched in the face by a dragon. Yes. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw up the map here. Uh, let's see. Map of uh, the south region. Uh, there we are. You've left Riverdale. It's right there in the center of the map. Up the river, winding its way. There's a few towns. Right before it gets to the hills over there, there is a little gnomish village right on the side, uh, on the left bank there. And, uh, yeah, just a little town. Uh, they unload a bunch of stuff there. And they're like, and, uh, Ru and Gregor actually is like, Gregor's very keen. Uh, I saw that you ended up with some platinum. And he was like, so yeah, we'll take you the rest of the way, all the way up into that little swampy region there, right as far as we can go for that there platinum. Oh, I, I recollect the the rate was slightly different earlier. What's the conversion rate? Also, oh, it's like ten to one. It's like ten. One platinum is ten. Hell to no, oh, damn. bro. Uh, no. I'll give you the change. I just like platinum. Oh, if that was a dragon too. <laughs> well, how going. about you yeah, tackle him and find out? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, slow down. No, no, wouldn't do that, Gregor. Men of our stature have to stick together. So, right. like, I mean, so what would the change be? So we already gave you two. So, like, if you've got ten gold, yeah, I'll give you the platinum. I'll give you... Uh, are you saying you're not really sure on the math there, my friend? What's, Listen, what's the math? Hacks? Who's the smart person in this group? Hi, for, <laughs> let me, I'll saddle up. Let, just hold him on. You want me to Gregor. do like the angry face at him while you do this? Yeah, or you can okay. look up like sometimes when you, I think, are reminiscing, you look up to the left. Either one. Uh, <laughs> Gregor, you have to forgive him. He's only half. Uh, <laughs> So we had already worked out a rate bef b before we we c came. Uh, if we needed to go the the rest of the way, I'm still not 100 percent sure we need to go up that far. Ah, uh, well, up to you. I uh, just like the platinum. You know what I'm saying? Just easier to carry. You know. Not well, yeah, to... no, you couldn't consolidate the coinage and all that. That's very, very true. Very not true. Trying to hornswoggle anybody, but yeah, if you want us to go up there, there's some dangers up there that, uh, you know, that's worth the two extra gold. That's for sure. Allow me to talk with my uh, friends. <laughs> friends, we're friends. We're friends now. I like that. Thank yeah, you. well, when one of you threatens to drag their nuts across the dragon, you go straight to friend real quick. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. It was. It was. It worked, I'm going to reminisce worked. like you do. Listen, you know, she was, Petra was, she was thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so... Uh, are we really attached to the platinum? Because, because I mean, we'll get the eight back. We can go a little further up the boat, which eliminates a couple of variables. But yeah, you know what? You know what? I'm 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 gonna pull this out right now. I'm gonna whip it out, my coin. God, you know. I thought you gave and, it to uh, me. 
Oh, did I give it to you? Yeah, yeah. here, here, um, here, I did, here. I did. I'll whip it out. So you don't have to whip the it coin, out. The coin. Here, right. yeah, yeah, here um, you go. Yeah, and Ugh. that way, um, when they hand us the change, we'll hand them the coin. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Gregor? Yeah. For reasons that I cannot explain outside of, I think they got hit in the head once, I'm going to need the change first and then you get the platinum. And I know what that, that sounds like, but I don't think it's that. I, I just, I, I don't know if they got enough oxygen at birth, Gregor. <laughs> we only got half. They only got half. Uh, so, okay, so, all right. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, you're on my boat, so you're not gonna get yeah, very but- far. <laughs> Exactly. It's really kind of like a, it's a win-win with but like with a question mark and an asterisk <laughs> after it. <laughs> like a win-win. Uh, so uh-huh. change, Gregor. We'll just we'll just get you as far as we can. Then we'll pay okay. you. Okay. We just dis- we load. disembark then. Okay. Yeah. Let's just do that, you weirdos. <laughs> now. Yeah, we earned that. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Whew. All you right. Can, oh. You can unwhip it out now, YouTube. Tuck it away. Oh, okay. Do you want to whip it back in or should I? Oh, no, you know, it's all yours. Here. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. God. All right. And I just like yeah. stuff it down my Varus under. Yeah, yeah you, do, you do that, Var man. Yeah. You're good at that. Well, while, You're good at everything. Well, while they're doing various whipping things out and stuffing things back in, we want to remind you that you are watching that 21 Adventures into the Feywild. Right here every Tuesday night for the foreseeable future on Twitch. And if you're having a good time and you're new, hit that follow button and subscribe to the channel. We have new shows every Monday through Thursday. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, consider spending one of your free Twitch subscriptions per month with us and watch past episodes of the show on our YouTube. Go like and subscribe. Now, back to the stuffing. All right. You've got really good technique, Varus. That was efficient. Um, what did I do? I forgot already. You oh, stuffed the it, whipping, big boy. The whip, yeah, yeah, both. Yeah, I mean, like I'm used to stuffing things down there. Oh, oh. ominous. Is that where you keep your potatoes? I I don't. Wow. Okay, that's what they call it. Yeah. In I mean, sometimes heat, you get hungry. You just gotta like, you know. I know it. I know it. Yeah, you gotta gotta keep them down there. Then. Yeah, that yeah. that's yeah. man right there. He's real yeah. good. All yeah. sorts of things. Potatoes. Yeah. Sometimes Potatoes. you know, maybe a leek. Um, oh. maybe maybe a cucumber. You, oh wait, you wait, wait! You brought a leek. You, you brought a leek in the boat. Well, no, I didn't. I, had, I didn't want because <laughs> because a leak in the boat is bad. So I didn't want to do that. Did yeah. you piss yourself on the boat? Where did we get leek from? No, the the the, the 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 vegetable, the thing. Oh, yeah, I thought you said yeah. you took a leak. So sorry. Yeah, but I also heard that you shouldn't have a leak on the boat, so I I, I didn't I didn't bring well, it. No. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Uh. Woo! Gnomes are loading up yeah. leak as you speak. They're just it packs. <laughs> it's like you. It's like you don't. Count. No. <laughs> sorry. What was that gift? They're they're, they're putting leaks in the boat. Uh, that's uh, uh, heaven. Okay, just close your eyes. They'll go away. Okay. <laughs> wow, you are good. You are real good. Thank you. It's like, uh, I'm gonna Ooh. need like an, uh, no, wait, then I can't keep my eyes out for danger. <laughs> danger. I am surprised that you actually have gotten out of the bar. It, it only took an hour and a half. It's fine. Uh, so you do manage without any aside from the weird conversations literally like <laughs> gregor just keeps like kind of like he's like walking by he's hears part of your conversation and then is like i'm i'm just going to go back over here now <laughs> what's up gregor man i got i got things to do busy all right cool you I do gotta, those things and he's he just keeps like coiling and then uncoiling the same rope just <laughs> I'm busy. Oh man, you don't bother me. So uh, very important rope coiling. Oh, man, yeah. Oh man, can you show me how to coil that rope? No. 
Hey, Varus, I got a question for you. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to the Fae Wild. Yes. Right? Yeah. We are, we are going to kick somebody's butt. Can yeah. You, what can you tell us about the butt that we will be kicking? They're an orc. They're an albino orc. And they're my sworn nemesis. What they do to, to really just rile you up so good? They killed my parents. That dick, I want to kill him for you. Right? Too. Right? My like, ass. I thought it was like, you know, it just no, really but... felt unpleasant, you know, uncalled for. But, uh, yeah, no, I hate this. I hate this orc. We got to kill the orc. Why? Do you know why they killed? Or was it just being? Because it's, it's, it's an albino orc. It's what they do. Yeah. No, you're orcs, right. You I know? don't even know why I asked. <laughs> don't it's, even know why. You know, they're, they're just out there you. being like, <laughs> I mean, oh, parents, you know, fuck, fudge you, parents. <laughs> I don't know if we're oh, allowed yeah. to have an, another F bomb on this, so I'm, I'm trying to, to keep it there. Like, duck you, parents. Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> I would really like to keep this right where we are. I appreciate it. You oh, can't you hear it, me God. because I'm not your God, I'm her God. Oh, you got it, sorry. Jeff's God. Yeah. Yeah. You have peanut yeah. butter? Are you the God of peanut butter? Oh, I get it. I get what you went. I'll say what you did. Some, yeah. Sometimes Sorry. chocolate. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh. why? Are you all jelly of my God? You should be. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Chocolate, Jif, and jelly. No, no, again, not your God. Her God. Oh. I, yes, I'll no, share. I did, yeah. I'll share. Okay, all right. All right. Great. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm like, Thank I, God. I don't know if I need to. I, I'm just like, yep. I'm just going to let this roll. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I have another question for you, Vars. Yeah. One more question. Yeah. Why why did this albino orc go to the Feywild? Um, I don't know. I was I didn't get to ask the albino orc why he was going places. All I just heard, you know, I've been tracking him since I was a young child, and all uh, I've heard is that this orc seems to operate out of the Feywild. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna, we're gonna do that there. Maybe if we can find him there, we can mm -hmm. find out what what motivated him and why he did all the things he did. I don't even know if that mattered. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, so look at you. You are you got that brooding thing down. You are. I've never like a seen him wistfully look down before. It's always up. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very troubled. Different oh. emotion. Yeah, he Let's even makes troubled look good. Look at that. Look, that's my man right there. That's my boy. That's my big cheese. My good time boy. Look at him go. Even Thank when you, he Jeff. says, "Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah." You. Yeah, you want oh. you want you want tissue? Oh, I've got like twenty four. No, no, it's a oh, single right. manly tear. <laughs> All right, ah, oh, the one manly tear. I like it. I like it. I mean, if I don't give this guy a uh, cowl uh, that's got some little Batman ears by the at least like episode four, and I'm not doing my job. I feel like I'm just failing. <laughs> Dark half elf rises. <laughs> Dark half elf <laughs> I, I do have now. another question. One more question. Yeah. So yeah. you're like you're like half elf. So what's the other half? Uh, human. Oh, all right. I'm, I'm a fighter. Human. I'm basic. Can't you tell? Oh no, baby. You ain't yeah, human. yeah. It's like you know, it's the kind of thing where like you know, I mean, like I, I wanted to be basic, but I didn't want to be like totally basic. Like I just want to like you know that little that little splice because that's how it works, right? Yes. Pax, how are babies made? <laughs> whoa, whoa. All right, big guy. So you I'm, I'm joking how, with you. I'm joking. You remember with how you wanted to drag your nuts across the dragon? <laughs> if you, you had like taken out daddy. well now wait a minute. He asked a legitimate if you had whipped out your crotch potatoes and your leek and done a bit more than drag. Well it's a you cucumber today, because I wouldn't bring a leek on the boat. Wow, you fluctuate in girth. Uh, okay, uh, you know I'm gonna go help Gregor coil and uncoil the same rope. <laughs> uh, he literally hands you the other half of the rope, and he's like, "I never thought that I'd be coiling a rope with a goblin." <laughs> The tears are no longer men. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say this was the strangest thing that's happened to me, but you know. <laughs> What's the strangest thing that's happened to you, Pax Rope Coiler? 
<laughs> the rope coila. You know, buddy, I think you should save some of those syllables for the Feywild. Okay. <laughs> Thank. You. I'm a little. I'm a little choked up. Thank you. It's okay. That you. You. You listfully look up to the left, and I'll coil this rope. <laughs> You know, uh, I just looked right, didn't right I? There. there is a bump. <laughs> <laughs> I, the mirroring is messing me up. <laughs> As you've been boating along, uh, there is a thump uh, under the barge. And, uh, and then another one. Thump. And uh, do you... Yeah, I yeah. look. Yeah. I want to look. Like I there, feel like we're running over someone. There seems to be a horse. A horse it's in the water, like barely, like arm. Ah. Rope guys, throw the ho- throw the rope at the horse and get it out. I'll help you. I'm strong. I arm wrestled a dragon yesterday. That's true, Gregor. He yeah. did that one. He's 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 being honest about. So, uh, everyone, give me a uh, give me a intelligence check. Oh lord! Do, do I have to use my intel my plus three in advantage now? You, oh yeah, yeah. On your next trick, yeah, yeah. On your oh, next roll, yeah. Just, no saving it up. You got to use them. Fifteen. So I think plus one. So that's sixteen. Seven. 14. I did not get. I, I did not get a fifteen. Uh, Pax not. and 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 Varys, you uh, you're you're pretty sure that the horse understood what Varys said, and. Uh, like when you said I wrestled a dragon, the horse, like, the arm, arm wrestled a dragon. The the horse was like, and then the horse says, "Well, then jump in here and help me." Whoa, horse man, what's going on, horse bro? I, the, and like the horse is like literally barely keeping its head above the water. It's like, hey, just just uh, I'm there's a I'm tied there. There's a rope and I'm stuck. I'm said just just come on, just get in here, just just chop it up and just. Just you could you you look strong. Come here. You said you were strong. Horseman. Are you lying to me, horseman? Oh, you're gonna have to make a uh <laughs> insight for that. Insight on that one. Uh that's an eleven. Yeah. Uh that horse is desperately trying to escape whatever rope thing is under the water that that's poor, poor. Dragon, a uh, dragon. This poor, poor horse uh, is, is clearly suffering. Well, clearly, farman's gonna dive in and do the saving. Yeah, uh-huh. and he dives. He dives in. I don't know what that was, but that was amazing. That was my freestyle. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm underwater. <laughs> that was my freestyle. Uh, all right. Varus goes in the water. This quote-unquote horse goes under the water. Um, some bubbles come up. Uh, Varys. Varys, are you all right, honey? You need you any need to help? Make some grappling checks, because uh, very strong. I arm wrestled a dragon yesterday. Yes. Now you are about to grapple with a water horse in its territory. So, um, this was clearly a trap. <laughs> <laughs> you told me that it, I was clearly thinking it was all good, so of course, far as you're not in. that bright. <laughs> yes. <laughs> auto oh, fail. Man. And Renbaum throws an auto fail. Holy smokes! Oh uh, no! Dag oh, yes. gone. Uh, the rest of you notice that Varys is definitely you're know, like he pulled his sword out to go and <laughs> chop that rope, and now is rolling under the water with this. And this is like some sort of seaweed, horse-headed monstrosity that is now tangling Varys up. Uh, Looks like episode six, season one of The Witcher. Anyway, uh, but... Oh, yeah. (laughs) Sorry, throw it back there. But uh, all right. So, uh, yeah, Uh, you're like, oh, that's not good. That's not good. All right. All right, okay. I'll go help him. I will help uh, him. I can't go down there, but I've got some magic to spare. Oh. I will punch the head of the horse. Oh, goodness. You're, you would have to dive into the water. It's because it's just. <sighs> you got like. 
I look at you, Pax. Can I, do I have a clear view of the horse? Every once in a while, it is, it's rolling in the, in the water, so. <sighs> Varus, guard your crotch potatoes. Here we go. <laughs> I believe in you, buddy. Crotch Somebody's potatoes. got to. Uh, I'm going to hold my hand real steady and try to Eldritch Blast this horse. All right. Eldritch Blast. Oh. That's not a good look. <laughs> no, oh. no, it's not. Because as soon as I did it, I stuttered. And just for comedy's sake. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Uh, so dead. Oh. No, I don't think so. Bum, 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 bum. I, mean, I haven't rolled for damage yet, so you may have gotten hit with a, a you know, a tiny one. Uh, all right. Uh, so tell you what, roll again. See if you hit Varus. This is definitely uh, when you crit fail. This is definitely a uh, that's that's a possibility. Okay. So thirteen. Oh no. All right. You just. <laughs> blast the water you're not sure what you hit but it uh you see a little bit of uh water help go everywhere uh gif what you... all right so i just realized something uh, i'm getting i'm got, i didn't do this on purpose we d we did a lot of stuff on purpose because this this is not one of them um i'm looking around desperately for a rope you know and i know they've been coiling ropes you know so, I'm, Pax um, is, I'm holding it in the left hand as I shot it with the right. <laughs> oh, all right, so you so you got the right because I would like to. I've got really good acrobatics. You know, I'm like a gymnast. I'm like a, like a circus performing gymnast, which was weird that I would team up with an orphan warrior or something because I did not do that on purpose. But here we are. Uh, my <laughs> I rolled a nat twenty on that persuasion I check, know. apparently. Um, all right, right so, me for um, some kind of joker. <laughs> Anyone else hearing the music? Uh, that's just that must have just my my inspiration. It's just coming to me from my god. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. So, um, actually, actually, maybe I am hearing the sound of my god, and instead of looking for a rope, I am going to inspire. That that wonderful ah. warrior down there for his next <laughs> time <around. laughs> Yeah, that. So while I frantically search for a rope that's right next to me, I'm gonna let him try and do something else. I'm gonna inspire him next time around. My God, he sent me a message. There it is. Thanks, God. That's yeah, he's got a theme song. Were you not prepared for this? Yeah. I'm going back to coiling rope. <laughs> <laughs> I know I got disadvantaged. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, all right. So, whew, oh, my gosh. Sally, you're killing us. Um, <laughs> Literally. Then, yeah, I think you're killing them specifically. Specifically. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, all right, but you were rolling for the bark inspiration. Yeah, yeah. On Varus. You on sang him his yeah. attack song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, so there, and that that's your go. Is there a bonus action in there, or? Oh, uh, great question. Uh, While you're maybe? thinking about that, Kira, <laughs> 10 toes. I am going to go in there and I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to go wrestle with the uh, water horse. I'm going to punch it in the head uh, and uh, fight it. I, I, I'm assuming its uh, tentacles are uh, all up on the virus. Oh, yeah. It's a little like healthy, sweet, sweet love. Like uh, grassy, oh, yeah. like river weed. And, oh, yeah. uh, it better oh, yeah. have asked for consent. Yeah, I saw this movie, so I know where this is going. So uh, oh, I'm punching. Shape of Water. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the one I'm thinking of. I will oh. punch it. I will punch it. Ren Mom throws down the crit as Kira dives in. <sighs> Boom. <laughs> Elbow. Oh, 
giving the people's elbow potato. The, pe uh. the, the potato's elbow? I don't know. Elbow. We'll potato come up with a better name, but all right. You just <laughs> come in with the elbow. I love that. Dive off the boat and just elbow. Boom. And uh, and yes. Uh, all right. Well, you roll damage. You crit. I'm rolling that damage. And uh, let's see. That would be double seven. Seven Holy times smokes. two. 14 damage. Now, my friends, on the world of Earth, uh, we just go easy. That's you just so add all the numbers up, whatever it is, and we just double it if you crit. Here's the thing. If you crit fail, you take take double the damage. So, uh, yeah, we just... No, don't, don't we? We're not. We're not that mathy. We just multiply by two. That's all we do. All right. So, but there's more uh, because I have no weapons in my hand. Yeah, I get to punch them again. You do. So I hit them with the thing, and then I turn around and I tater slap them. Tater slap. Give it. And wait, uh, did Sky throw throw down a twenty one as well? Oh, two. Now that that twenty one was on behalf of Sky. All right. Sky right. was not yep. online. All right. Blammo. All right, let's uh let's roll the hit. Uh, let me see. That'd be nineteen to hit. That does hit. And uh, let's see how much damage I do. Uh, six damage. All right. So fourteen tater slap. Potato potatoes of fury. You just <laughs> rain down a hail of uh of damage onto this water horse who. Is a, a little stunned. I'm gonna say a little, a little, a little, a little upset. Um, Let go he, of my good friend Varus the Destroyer. Thought he had a good snack right there, and uh, and yeah, not so much. All right, so the uh, the water horse is trying to dive down deeper into the into the water. Oh my god, Sky is clearly trying to kill Varus here, uh, giving him a disadvantage. Uh, all right, so. Uh, so Pax, you did the, we're just going to go around in circular order here. So, uh, Varys. Um, so if, if I were to attack, I would already have disadvantage because I'm grappled. Yes. But I then have double disadvantage <clears throat> or is it just uh, straight disadvantage? No, I, that's not, yeah, no, it's just a total disadvantage. You just have disadvantage. Yeah. All right. Then I'm going to use it there and All not right. try to break free. Um... I'm a slash. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull my sword out and I'm gonna slash it. All right. That is a. I don't know what my stats are. Um. That's a fifteen. That actually that's another fifteen. Another fifteen. Well, surprisingly, it does hit. You pull out your sword and kelp flies off as you slice through it. Uh, give it some damage. This whole this whole fight's gone to kelp. <laughs> and I got a one plus five. So. Six damage. All right. Uh, you're shredding it. Doing a pretty good job. However, uh, you do need to make a dex save. Save. I mean, sorry. Con constitution save. Sorry. Oh. Um, that you, are, is... you are still holding your breath as he is holding you underwater. That's an 18. Okay. You are... You're doing okay, but you can't hold your breath forever. Um, you're still doing okay. Pax... Gift, did you say something about a rope? Oh yeah, yeah. I was checking on my bonus action, which is a uh, that is a positive. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was gonna tie that around my waist. It's sort of swing like a pendulum. So when he comes up for air, he's got something to grab onto. Oh just well, I've just it. I've got some huh? freshly coiled some. If you would like it, I got that aside. But I'm gonna give this a go. All right, go ahead. You do you. You do you. Back where we started. I'm going to put both hands into it and get a clear view on the horse. I was distracted earlier with the stupid hemp. Uh, that monosyllabic idiot belongs to me. And that's what I yell at this horse as I get ready to save my newfound friend. Uh, 18. Blam. Okay, yeah. <laughs> The water and boils and rips as you blast the Eldritch power into it. Yes. Oh, and Reverend Tommy's going to crit that, actually. So, ba blam double that damage, my friend. Double that damage. The, it was 14. Oh, is that the 14 total, or is that... The 14 total. All right. Blam! Oh, my God. You guys are shredding this thing. All right. That's, oh, that's how we're... All right. Um, 
Skiff. Yeah. Uh, so you you've grabbed the rope. You're like. Wrapping yeah, around. I'm trying to I'm trying to round myself, uh, and because I'm um, you know I'm really I'm really flexible, you know, and I got that swingy swingy going on. I can climb up it, climb down it pretty well. So I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna make myself available for them to use to climb back up. I'll maybe grab onto them if they need. You know, I'm making myself available. I'm, I'm looking into the future. All right. Ooh. Uh, so you're like you're like hanging over the the barge like as yeah, far yeah, as you yeah. oh, can. Oh, face yeah. down, almost as though someone was being attacked by a shark, and then a boy wonder came down on a ladder in a helicopter, whatever. But uh, I've got inspiration going. <laughs> I thought about it. That's what we're doing. I'm, this yeah. is me picking up what you have put down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> As you lean over, way, way over into the water, uh, you see a kelpy hand, like a just a big seaweed tendril come up, try to grab you, uh, and like wrap around your body and start oh, no. to pull. Who, who exactly has the other end of the rope? I assume I've tied it to something, but now that you say it, I may have just left it loose. <laughs> What's no, 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 Gregor. Oh my God! I'm gonna give Gregor a shot, and he leaps. And, <laughs> and my rope, he says. Gregor, prioritize. We can get more rope. Tell him we have the platinum. <laughs> and he pulls on his rope. Oh jeez! But he rolls a two because when it <laughs> comes down to it, I never roll well. So he's like, ah! oh wait, no, I'm sorry. DM still has a nat 21. Yeah, I'm gonna use that in that order. So I will use my d21, uh, I, which you have to use them as you get them. So, you know, you can't save them up for that special moment. You just gotta use them. Um, so Gregor does, puts that rope around his arm and like braces himself against the side of his barge and like, Ah, you will not take my rope. And the kelp shreds as Gif gets yoinked back. Almost like a little, a little choky action. A little choky. And, and the kelp snaps as uh, you get yoinked back up against the side of the boat. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Give me another con. What is that? Give me a Varus, give me another con check. Oh my god, already? Gregor, Come on, buddy. I got you. That's another 18. <laughs> Woo! Another 18. All right, great. All right, wait, hang on, Zolani. You I I have I'm using the D21. So that was his uh D21. So he will fail next shot. So uh so this better have because the rope is breaking as it shreds over the uh over the top. So you have one round. Okay, back around. Oh, right. The Kelpie does try to bite Varus. That's, oh, that's going to be a 19. Ugh. Yes. All right. Gets a mouthful. Oh. And I, once, once again, I just, I, I literally rolled two ones. I, <laughs> I, my D6s, anyway, that is a four damage. <sighs> All right, I see. I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh right. On, well, I used my. I got advantage. Oh, well, so. is it my turn? Uh, so hang on. It is Kira ten no. toes, and we're going around. Just words of encouragement. Oh, okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, all right. I see what's happening. I'm gonna try to uh, help my friend get freed if I can by punching whatever tentacles are uh, attaching themselves to my dear friend here. All right. Yeah, I will punch those paws. Uh, so I guess I rolled a hit those little tentacles. If I can get my little mouse little cup in hands there. and arms. All right. Oh, look, look, Kelpy paws. <gasps> Woohoo! I got seventeen, which I think it hits. That will hit. All right, and uh, I would like to. Oh, come on, girl, roll, roll those dice. Uh, that would be five more damage. All right. You're whacking it, you're, you're punching it. It is in the water, and you're kind of like splashing around pretty good. You're hitting it as best you can. 
Uh, it does not break the uh, the hold, though. So I'm gonna punch it again with my bonus action punch of arm strike. This time I'm gonna like do the old karate chop. All right. Do you have a oh, plus one? That gives me twenty-one. Not right. critical. It's a dirty, dirty, well, dirty. 20. I have disadvantage, and it does get to save the three. Ha! You, you hit it right in whatever nerve ending was the special nerve ending yeah. that it needed, and it, uh, it wiggles back <laughs> to the sound effects. I like it. That's some vicious battle stuff. Uh, but I did do six damage on that one. Oh, six yeah. Six more damage. Uh, I did that like, thing where you put it like right up there and you go, poof. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the one inch punch. The uh, one inch punch. So, Thank you. Pax. It's, it's flipping, it's flopping, and uh, you the, the water is splashing. Gifts on the edge of the boat. Kira's down there just wailing on it. You occasionally see Varys's sword flashing under the water. Uh, Hang on, big guy. I think I got one more. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> What's a 16 going to get me, Chief? Uh, that's going to get you a hit. Oh, good. It's only a two, but I didn't hit my friends. <laughs> We're just going to add that to the pile. Uh, it does seem to be taking a bit of a hit. Varys. Uh, now I'm going to try and break free. You you are free. Oh, I am? Kira's, oh. Kira's uh, attack had it, it wiggled back. And there you are under the water. And you see this gigantic. It When you're under the water, you see that it is a gigantic horse head skull covered in basically seaweed. Uh, but it is a river. So, you know, it's. It's not seaweed. It's so here's what here's what I would like to do. I would like to is grappling a bonus action. Uh, grappling's an attack. Okay. So here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to swim to the surface and take a breath first and foremost. Okay. Um, and secondly, because it's a horse and because I am Varman, I would like to grapple it by riding it. So I'd like to like get on the back of it and be like, no. So that is my grapple attack. I'm I'm gonna uh, yeah. So use your move to get some air, and then you're going to even though you just got free of it, you are going to grapple it. It's what I do. That's what I do. Yeah. You can't grapple me. Yeah. I can grapple you. Ball man. Um, do I have yeah. strength to that? Strength and proficiency. Yeah. If you're using strength, you can use dexterity or strength. Uh, Animal that's a handling. <laughs> Animal handling. It's always uh, it is, Animal handling. It is a fifteen. A 15. Uh, and I have disadvantage again, because I used my other disadvantage here. And, oh, wait. that's No, I rolled two fours. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, God. oh Sally! <laughs> Listen, we're going to be here for another hour. You keep doing that. Uh, Sigh. It is a, it is a tumbling mess of seaweed as the tries to escape, you try to grab it, but actually what, so if it was, if you had rolled a two, cause it's just a fail, it's not a crit fail. If you rolled a two, what is your strength? Uh, my strength is 16, so plus three. That's still a five. Yeah. So even with a two, with my fours, mm, oh, well, it is a fail. Uh, yeah, you're, I mean, you're on it. You haven't quite grappled it, but you're on it. You're like, it. It's not liking it, but you're not grappling. Okay. You're just on it. Making um, sweet, sweet love. To I mean, that's that that's Kelpie that's thing. all I can do. I've only got one attack for now. I do want to use my uh, my second wind real quick to heal what little okay. I have. Ooh. Wait, don't you have a? Uh, no, second wind is just second wind, but it doesn't. Uh, I'm sorry, up. not a second wind. Uh, yeah, it's second wind. So. And no, I don't have action surge yet. I think that's action next, surge, yeah, that's next right. level. All right, so, uh, so it's just a mess. <laughs> it's just a mess, but I am back at full health. All Look right, at you guys, what, what? Come on, people. Yeah. Look at that pretty boy. So Look hard. at that pretty boy. Why you gotta be like yeah. that? He's got a theme song that I hope will play in full and not just the last three seconds of it. You want to see me suffer? 
Yeah. They want they want more of the vengeance and less of the bro. Yeah. I think that's what it wants. They just want the edge lord. That's yeah. true. They want the edges. To when my, my family was born. With perfect golden hair, he'll slay a dragon boy and a doya. Call your lawyer. So let's go and make way for the destroyer. Does anyone wow. else just hear spontaneous choral music from time to time? That's my jam. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Gif, you are you're you're up against the edge of the barge, facing towards the water. You can hear the rope that you're tied to fraying and piece of it snapping as it as it shreds across the railing of the barge. Um, you see this mess down in the water below you. Kira's dropping elbows, splashing around in the water. Pax is blasting it with the Eldritch Blast. Uh, Varus is wrestling with it. That's pretty much all That's you can do. Mike and sweet, sweet love to that candy right. horse. Yeah. Um, what do you do? You you can feel like the rope like it snap. Tick, you know, like each piece of it. So you're like, oh, I'm not going to be here long. What would you like to do? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm at a loss at this point. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to die, and I don't want you to die, and I don't want you to die. I don't want you to die. Uh, oh gosh, another <laughs> rope! Another rope! <laughs> Another rope. Throw me another rope. <laughs> I was also coiling this one earlier, but I didn't yeah. find it important. I'm going to remember to tie it. this one, though. So there we go. There you go. What I'm going to do. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to give uh, Gregor the action that he's going to, as he's like, all right, he's. Oh yes, there it is. Gif just found another rope from the gods. One of the uh, Twitch. Uh, one of the Twitch abilities is to have a mundane item nearby uh, and look at that. Uh, Gif, you you look uh, as you're like, as the rope is like kick, 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 breaking, your, you look back only to see right there hanging off one of the of those little belaying pins. Belaying pins, yes. There you Thank you. Uh, is another coil of rope. Son a of coil. a bitch. Just for me. Look at that. And what do you uh, do? You just. I mean, I would, I would like to. Uh, uh, well, I'm not going to try this again, but I would like to coil the rope uh, even more, tie it in a knot, and throw it down so those poor things can get out of the water. And I might even go, "Hey, get back in the boat." Okay, but what about you? Are are you coiling it around you as well, and then them, or are you just coiling the rope and throwing it down to them? Oh yeah, I'm not jumping in again. That was a really bad idea. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw them the rope. I'm right. not getting involved this time. You're, I've got, actually, I've got... you're actually leaping it back into the barge, right? So because yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm getting I'm right. getting in and get just putting the rope over the side because you know what? I don't want to get I will I will be their moral support. You can do it. <laughs> I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm not gonna very do well. It. Gregor looks at you and just goes. And now my other rope? Thanks. <laughs> As you like, poor man. <laughs> um, it is at this moment that this water horse attempts to get away because you have almost killed it. And it is not being held by Varys in a chokehold or anything. But uh, attacks which... of opportunity, baby. That is right. <laughs> so, <laughs> do we all do we all get a tax of opportunity? Well, you do, Kira, and so does Varys. Um, so, yeah, you can you totally go punch that. <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> you have higher decks than me, so why don't you go first? All right, I, I'm gonna uh, slap that guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna tater slap him. <laughs> tater slap. I'm gonna tear it slap that boy. Bring it. I mean, it's just like you know, one of them. Oh, that was not a good roll. It was my turn. 
It was my turn. <laughs> mm. uh, I, eight doesn't hit, does it? Mm, not today. Not today. I thought I would like, what I'm doing is I go to Tater Slap and I kind of gesture like, go for it, Varys. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Let's just do this. water in its face just to be like, ha ha ha. Good <laughs> distraction, Kira. I appreciate it. Uh, that's an, a 10. A 10. A total of a 10. Yes. Really? What? Really? Oh, and Varys is rolling at minus one, so that's a nine. Uh, just well, aggressively slaps the water. <laughs> That water. You're lucky I let you get away. It is diving under the water. Do you, you could make a ranged attack. I could? Yeah, because nobody else has the ability to get to it. Uh, nobody can swim as fast as this thing can. It's like... Choom. How uh, far out of the way are my friends? <laughs> oh, they're out of the way. I mean, it, 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 it went, moved. Everyone's splashed at it and did not do any damage to it but uh <laughs> my <laughs> my kung fu is mighty you know <laughs> i'm just gonna let it go away <laughs> okay, okay. okay. I, I just gotta say this is mab talking have you not watched the show <laughs> this bitch will come back uh, I, I, have, I, I have I have watched the show, but I also <laughs> think we have, you know, kicked the shit out of a lot of, in ourselves. So, you know, <laughs> maybe a little goodness in the world would be, I, I don't know. I mean, do you want me to take it back? I don't know if I can. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm, I'm on your side, Pax, because listen, I, I've already got plenty of material for my next ballad. <laughs> he wrote it. yippee ki -yay. I'm good. You can let it go. We're good. I got what I wanted. I'm alive. You're alive. <laughs> Technically, we're all at full health, too, I think. And, uh, yeah, we after, yeah. <laughs> Besides FWM. Uh, it, and with any luck, we'll get where we're going and we'll avoid the water. It, uh, it, it, it swims off. I it's, and, Horse and bro, it, you suck! It, gives, it, it turns around. <laughs> And puts a kelpy finger in the air and gives you the death. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Come at me. Catch, catch me on dry land. How about that? <laughs> the death Lenny? Just, Lenny? Was just it the goes death under Lenny? the water. <laughs> yeah, just... It's like it's like the Terminator with like the thumbs up, except it's a finger. <laughs> <laughs> just the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You run away. Wow. You run away. All right, so. <laughs> Gregor uh, helps you guys all back up, uh, and so does Gif. Gets you out of the water. And Gregor, Gregor goes, uh, you know, you owe me four silver for that rope. That's fair. That was a good <laughs> piece of rope. You saved it nicely. From the, the horse monster, man. Now, the only reason that monster attacks is because we're here. I'll by the way, we're here. Get off the boat. <laughs> cool. All right, man. This is fun. Let's do it again sometime. I just like saunter off. Uh, the money. Our man going to the thing. I got it, Gregor. I, I... <laughs> All right. You get off the boat. Uh, they, the barge pushes away as quickly as, but like, like <laughs> Giff is literally like, not even actually all both feet off the barge yet and they're just they're already like pushing the barge away from the the uh, edge of the uh the land there like bye see you never near <laughs> and uh they are so out of there <sighs> well there you are that was Sting. easy <laughs> uh Pax. could you imagine if we had walked <laughs> <laughs> Pax, you you know that it's like that table is just over that next hill, uh, just not far away. So you could actually make it there pretty quick. If you're all still good, the, the, we're we're right there. We're just let's go, a, man. Let's go. Skipping the jump, team. All right. Uh, the forest is lush. Uh, the trees are green. The grass is green as well. Beautiful, just overhanging vines. This 
you are you definitely do feel the difference of the elven forest as opposed to say a forest that's closer to more humans and whatnot so uh gif and varus you feel a little like a little more at home actually but only half <laughs> this is half my jam <laughs> Uh, so Pax, you lead them over the hill and inside, uh, a lovely oak grove is a large stone table with little stone, uh, I guess stools is the, they're just round cylindrical, like blocks of stone, mm -hmm. uh, that are, there's 12 spots all the way around the table. It is a large table. It's a table big enough. 12 people to sit at. Uh, it has markings on the top of the table uh, carved into it. And uh, it, it looks like an amazing, like almost as if the oak trees were like a cathedral around this stone table. See, I was telling you the truth. I never doubted you for a minute. Uh oh, thank you, Kira. You're welcome. Okay, now what? So, well, uh, we have to to drink, which I know this group is good at doing. Oh, that's fine. I brought some food. I brought some snacks. We got a sandwich right here. <laughs> and I got some potatoes. Right well, it's here. it's it's not like uh, it's not like a bring your own kind of thing. It's it's there's stuff for a D here for us. Oh, all right. What well, do we eat? What do we drink? Away. It comes in foot long. <laughs> it comes in pints. I'm getting one. <laughs> but I've already had half already. See that? See that? Yeah. Nice. Yes. Wow. Pax, you do have uh this magic elixir that is uh is for the transportation. So here's this everybody. Cups out. All right. Here we I'll go. go ahead and pour for everybody. All right. It smells horrible. Like as soon as he opens the bottle, it you're like, oh God. Whoa. Oh Lord. Like, this isn't like, made of mushrooms, is it? Because I don't truck with no fungi. You know, I can't pronounce half of the words that are on the ingredients label, but there is red dye number four. So <laughs> oh, oh, that's fine. That's fine. That doesn't Okay, just if you're allergic, that's more common than people want to give credit to. Kind of reminds me of my protein shakes. Oh, oh that's okay. Yeah. Uh, well, Why is constitution so those high? Never, those never taste that's, good. Sorry, that, no, that's no, not no. a euphemism or anything, is it? That's, I don't uh, think so. Yeah, I don't know that word. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? We'll unpack that when we get there. Great. Uh, so, uh, do you want me to pack up something up now? No, no, you're you're fine, Anson. A okay. toast. A toast. Hey. To uh. To, to go and to get that orc bro. Yeah, get, uh, get, get the orc bro. Let's do it. Just how about getting to the Feywild? Walk before you run. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. So all while right. you're all drinking, I I have to, to repeat the sacred text. Mm -mm, bear with me. Ring around the table. The plane is unstable. Fairies, berries, we all fall down. The archfey is calling. There's no use in stalling. Fairies, berries, we, we all fall down. The wild is unknown. We're never truly alone. Fairies, berries, we all fall down. This plane we are leaving to one that is deceiving. Fairies, berries, we all fall down. Everybody roll a con Damn. save. Oh, there it is. All right. That's not terrible. Fifteen. Nine. Oh, nine. Eleven. Yeah, nine. Nine. Is that plus one? Eleven. Seventeen. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know how. So, Pax. I'll just keep. You're all, you're the four of you, you're all sitting around the table, and you are definitely all feeling this, like, as Pax gives this incantation, you. it's almost as if you're being hypnotized and you're being drawn to this table. Your head is getting heavier and heavier, and you're like, Oof. Uh, and your eyes are starting to close, 
the world around you is starting to go dim, and you can see some sort of sort of shadowy creatures starting to swirl around you. Pax, what do you remember from last time is that you need to hang on to the table. And if you are not connected to the table throughout this journey, you have to touch it. It's like three man, you know, you have to like touch the table at all times. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, should have the- said this before I started, but if everyone could keep their hands on the table for the duration of the ride, that would be beneficial. Right. If you do come away from the table, uh, you will be lost in a void forever. But, you know, what are the odds of that happening? Except that... Oh, no. What what happens is... See, what happens is, uh, as Varys and Gif are definitely... Clearly, this this potion works better on half-elves than anyone else. Uh, Gif and Varys are... They're literally... You feel... Your head feels so heavy that it's just about to hit the table. And you see these strange creatures come up and they are trying to drag you away from the table. Uh, Kira, Pax, you, you're, you're still awake and you've got one hand on the table as you see these creatures trying to pull them away. Uh, what do you do? Can I climb on the table and stand on it and slap at it? As long as you're still trying to touch the table, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I've got no shoes on. My feet are all over this table. Right on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb up and and like, I'll, hey, get get away from them. They're my friends. All right. Uh, that's good. That's good. You, uh, who, which one are you gonna go for? The one on Gif or the one on Varys? Well, Varys is very driven, so uh, he's he's pretty strong. I'm gonna go on Gif. All right. Uh, you swing wildly at it, and the this creature seems to be made of, like, smoke, mist. They just, as you, like, they just... Go on, man! Go on, man! Get, away. Get. Pax, what do you do? No, I've been on this before. Yes. Do I have any, like, insight? Does this, do I panic more or less because I've done this before? Uh, you know that if these creatures manage to pull them away during this moment, then yeah, they'll be lost in the void forever. Also, oh. at a certain point, gravity gets turned off. So you want to be able to have like a leg underneath the table so you don't fly off. Um, and you're like, oh, as you see Kira jump on the table. And you're like, oh. oh. Okay, uh, Kira, I'm gonna need you to get down and, uh, uh very afraid. Oh, uh, I'm gonna take the same approach of the go on, g- g- get. There are. Am I close to, can I make, can I keep a hold of the table and like try to like grab onto one of them? Uh, yes. Come. Why don't you, uh, give me a, give me a roll there as you slide your hand across the table. And reach over. 14. All right, that is good enough. You're hanging on. You've got, you shush whatever weird spirit away as it, as it goes back into the darkening mist. Kira, um, you are, it's this weird moment where you feel light and airy and you're like, oh, this is, is what is happening? You're like, I um, you are almost like you know, have you ever been that drunk where you're like you you need to hang on to the ground because otherwise you're gonna fall off the earth. Well, that's this moment, and it's real. You will fall off the earth if you do not hang on tight. And you are currently like standing on top tight. of the table. <laughs> I would like to lean forward and grab the table by the like the top, like grab my. You know, All right. Good enough. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> For a brief second, everything gets turned upside down, and you are 
hanging onto the edge of the table as if it was us. <laughs> and then, wham, he comes back around, gravity comes back in full force. And you're all, and you, Gif and Varys, you just like slammed your heads on the table, like, wham. Oh, oh, oh what just happened? Uh, uh, Pax, uh, you didn't really tell them anything about uh, what to expect here. So, no. normally, uh, well, Pax, what what you know about the part of the Feywild that this place brings you to, that mm -hmm. is a beautiful, gorgeous place of eternal springtime. And there's a, and for as interesting and as amazing as the oak tree grove was as a natural cathedral the place that you're going to is inside a a mystical fairy cathedral where the oak trees have wind it together and create amazing architecture and beautiful shapes and you probably have been dying to go back here that's what you remember in your mind however what actually is here is a barren wasteland. The air is cold. It's not quite freezing, but it's that nippy autumn time that we uh, know so well, right about October-ish. And there's no leaves on the trees. The leaves are brown on the ground, and uh, you can see a very dim sky out there. You're clearly in the Feywild, and this does seem reminiscent of where you had once been. But something is not right. Now, as for Kira, Gif, and Varys, uh, well, you didn't really have any expectations, but here you are in the Autumn Land. Ooh, it's autumn. It's cold. It's, Do they have pumpkin spice lattes? They it's all around you. You can smell it everywhere, but the thing God. is you can't find where it's coming from. That's the worst part. <laughs> it's my favorite flavor. Oh no, it's all right. They always spell your name with an R at the end on the cups, so you might be better off. Maybe. And as Pax, you stand there, I mean, you're all still very groggy, extremely groggy. It's, it's serious hangover time. Then you look around and you see a you're like, oh, man, I'm really, whoa, these trees are moving. And then you realize those trees are moving. And you realize it's like a big four-legged tree creature that's kind of like a wolf, but it's a tree or several trees. It's really hard to tell what it really is. But what it really is is coming straight for you. And that's where we're going to leave tonight. <laughs> I'm ready to fight. Put me in, coach. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna stop here for tonight and uh, and and talk about our life choices with <laughs> with one more uh, one more confession, my friends. That's right. Everyone gets a confession. Da -da. Well. I'm surprised we made it. That's pretty impressive because I was expecting at least one, possibly two of them to die. So <laughs> that's great on the up and up. But now I'm vaguely I'm worried. First of all, we're on a very uh, vague revenge mission with our some, I don't know, like very like wise, but also like stuck at like a certain point in his life, half friend pretty fixated and i i wonder if his albino orc has something to do with this because this isn't this isn't how it's supposed to be this also might explain what's been going on with with with, with me which like wow twist of fate right run into the person that caught like you know because of their bad happenstance caused your bad happenstance so <laughs> here we go and i wonder how many mythical creatures we are going to offend uh tr attempt to seduce and have kick the stuffing out of us along the way Remember that time I punched a, 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 a Kelpie horse in the face? That was kind of cool. But uh, I don't know what that 
sweet little packs gave me to drink, but uh, it is giving me some fierce gas right now. I don't even know how to talk about this. I'm really hoping nobody notices, but it is not agreeing with my my gut here. But, <clears throat> yep, nope, I gotta... Mm, oh, yeah. Ooh, I'm ready to really meet some faith, folks, that's for sure, because I, I just want to find my center here. Here we go. There it is. Hold on. Yep, there it goes. That's my center. Oh, man, stuff. I'm here for them. We are going to get our asses kicked. I'm here for them. Oh. You know, overall, I feel like everything went went great. You know, <laughs> got to arm wrestle a dragon. Um, you know, I helped distract the monster so my, my friends could take care of it. I mean, like, look, I showed that monster who's boss. That boss, that monster wanted no part of me. And you know, I, I got to ride a sea dragon horse, sea horse, whatever, whatever the hell it is. And you know, now we're in the Fey Wild, and you know, I can go and do you know what I got to do here. But there's one thing that I didn't tell the rest of the group. And that is I brought the cat from the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you stop trying to attack me. But I brought him with me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can add anything to what he just said, but I can embellish it with a song. I think we need to hear that theme song one more time. I'm not, I'm not the person pushing. <laughs> well, well, that was certainly something. Oh my goodness. Uh, yes. Well, we, I'm super surprised that we got through like a lot of this, the things I wrote normally we'd have already given up by now and just done a different adventure, but <laughs> I have had a great time. I hope you all have that as well. And, uh, yeah, this is the first episode of the adventures into the Feywild, uh, with all our friends. Thanks so much everyone who has joined us tonight. And I hope you join us again next week. Our, our channel, we have we have shows going on all week long, and Shakes is going to talk about that in oh, just a minute. We are also going to stick around because we are going to raid our friends' channels here in just a moment. But right now, I'll give it up for the Shakespeare. Why, hello there. I'm your Metatron, and uh, we have shows every night of the week. Tomorrow, Wednesday, 12.30 p.m., we have Crafting with the Crew. That is a wonderful show where a lot of our members from Nat 21 Adventures come on and make stuff together. Uh, tomorrow night, we have a um, episode of Gothic Horror Gaming where it's going to be a little bit of a break from the storyline. Uh, things are going to getting done. Things are going to be being made and all of the rest. Thursday morning at 10 a.m., join me, your friendly neighborhood Shakespeare, for writing sonnets with Shakespeare. Yep, that's me right there. I don't know why that is the picture I chose, but that is me. Um, <laughs> writing sonnets with Shakespeare, it's a collaborative process. Uh, you give me the ideas, I write them down, and then we create a sonnet together. Mondays, we have Music Monday with the Lady Prudence, and uh, she'll be joining us from Europe next week. So that is wonderful. And don't forget about our wonderful sponsors that we have D&D &D, uh, uh, Scotland and Castle Tool D&D &D, uh, Dragon Tool What I can't even, even read the things that are on screen. Go to go to Scotland, play D&D &D with me and Paul. It's going to be great. <laughs> Redadventures.com Ta Tabletop Teas Loose Leaf Tea Blends, Women Own Small Batches and also Little Empires Gaming. Um, but let's uh, get everyone uh, here back on screen for just one moment before we bid you adieu. All right, my friends. Thanks so much for joining Nat 21 Adventures into the Feywild. Uh, we've got, we're going to go raid our friend's channel here. So stick around if you'd like to continue the night. 
And thanks again for joining us for our first episode into the Feywild. It only gets weirder from here. This is Nat 21 Adventures. Thanks everybody for joining us. When a natural 20 just won't do, you definitely need a Nat 21. Thanks a lot, everybody, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you, everybody. Woo. That's all. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs>